together. Like, probably for your pants. Not for the coming to that. So.
<laughs> Started off on our little break thing, and we needed to go talk to the steward guy. Can't remember who it was to get um, the thing. Yeah, to get um to see if they would actually pay to get to for us to take out the third uh guy with the. Uh, menagerie macabre uh nightmare got into some trouble which only escalated from there uh we went through the shadow veil thanks to farjar's informants you know suggestion where we met this weird lady i can't pronounce her name um raven we... queen uh her was name she really the raven is... queen yeah she was the raven queen okay. her name is nervarine <laughs> However, yeah. if you looked at her handout and important NPCs, it she's explicitly not. says that she is not the Raven Queen. Yes, what I thought. <laughs> whatever. Oh, okay, whatever. So, so, yeah. From there, we... Uh, from there, we went into this old... Uh, what we thought to be abandoned museum. Found a bow. Found some armor. Found a deck that was actually a... Um, Mimic. Yep. Yeah, yeah, we did. Found some yeah, scrolls, which Nightmare picked up. Uh, went, fought the guy, and then the place started cl crawling around. And because of Nightmare's, mm, things happened, and Nightmare had to leave. Nightmare had to leave. You left out one liked it. You you left out the most important the most important part. Oh, we found Rollis. No, no. Note became a legend. Note became a legend <laughs> that Barge will sing about forever. Yes, yes, that, that did happen. Would you, like, would you like to recount the tale, Elsa? Of what? Him of basically Note? yelling Leroy Jenkins into <laughs> in, rushing into battle against a dragon? Where his uh, mount... Not that one. I don't think so. Are you guys talking about when he got polymorphed into a dinosaur? I'm talking about both. Both okay. I, I okay. did. That did happen. I became a. I became a dinosaur. He, be, he became a he transformer. Became a, um, he became an ankylosaurus colossus. Yes. Yeah. yeah that was the. Basically. That was. The, that was the next fight. All right. Uh. So yeah. After all those events and after all that happened, uh, you guys are recovering from your injuries and uh, resting from you know the adventures that you guys went on. Um, I want to say that it's been about two weeks since then. You haven't really heard a lot of uh. A lot of information, uh, really anything from uh, the Thane or any of his um, informants. Um, however, one thing that you guys do notice during the two weeks that you guys are resting and all that is, <clears throat> excuse me, um, that a lot of people are moving um, around Rhyme Home. A lot of people are coming in. As you look at them, it seems like a lot of mercenary companies, a lot of warriors are coming into the city. And you're also probably seeing for the first time in a long time, um, actual military forces are gathering and leaving Rhinehome. So Rhinehome has become a fort of oper or a base of operations. Um, yes and no. Um, it's more or less like they're mobilizing their troops to go elsewhere. Mm -hmm. Um, but like actual city life is still continuing inside Rhinehome. So probably for the common person. Um, they notice this, but they don't really take much stock in it because their ordinary lives aren't really interrupted by it. Okay. Um, but for people like you, you probably notice and be like, you know, oh, good, new jobs. <laughs> <laughs> More contracts. Um, Question. Have we yet returned that contract into the thing? You have not. Um, okay. If you, yeah, I imagine that you guys probably would like to go and inquire about where he is. Um, however, his stewards are basically saying he's busy. Um, and he's not able to take anyone. Busy my dickhole. <laughs> you don't have one of those. You don't have one of those. Uh, yeah, that's right, dude. You, they, they didn't add the function on you. You gotta go, um, and buy the expansion. Um, with that said, um... What an EA move. <laughs> <laughs> wow. With that said, it's probably about, uh, mid Thanks, Ubisoft. As you guys are, uh, sitting in the tavern or the inn or wherever you are, um... What would you guys like to do uh, in terms of shopping, in terms of coin talking to NPCs, stuff like that? 
Don't don't really have coin to go shopping. Yeah, I'm waiting for this job to be turned in to have coin. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can. But we are at the tavern, correct? <laughs> yeah, we are. Eh, well. I'm okay. It doesn't hurt I to do play have... a song of my people. <laughs> I, do, I do have a question there. Um, James? Sure thing. Uh, considering what was going on in the camp on the way here with, mm. with Leslie mm. and how she wanted to talk to her contact before joining the group. Uh -huh. uh, I was just wondering what uh, could that have happened? <laughs> During the two weeks, for sure. Okay. Yeah, 100%. Uh, let me go ahead and go back through your backstory. Uh, your contact? Can you give me a name? Real no, quick. I hadn't made one, one up yet. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> not going to lie about it. But... Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Um, okay. So as you guys are sitting around drinking and uh, resting, um, you see a man and finally, uh, finally dressed. Um, he comes into your guys' tavern. And immediately recognizes your group. Uh, Leslie, are you there with them? Um, sure. I'm going to assume that basically I was offered a position back in the military, which I don't want. Okay. If that's okay with you. Yeah, sure thing. Yeah, they okay. probably would have. Uh, because you came <laughs> in with your work company pretty much, right? I came in as a freelance guard who was with okay. you know, a caravan that was coming in. Okay, then yeah, they will have seen you with your uh, armor weapons. You obviously look like you know looked the part, uh, so they will have offered it to you. Whether you accept it or not is up to you. Um, but yeah, um, he comes in, uh, looks you guys over. He says, "Oh, good, uh, you four are here." Um, Thane Yomo, uh, request your presence immediately. Uh, Lehman will put his drum away and stand up and be like, oh, it's about time. Or just going to be like, yep, and just throw his loot off to the side. All right. Um, the, the man uh, leans over to, to you, Lehman, and he kind of looks at, was it real quick, and looks back at you, he's like, he says, uh, tieflings, can, can they change the, uh, the form? <laughs> no. So not that I'm aware of. Is she not the same one? Uh, she God is, looks at his paper. Uh, nightmare? She is Nightmare's replacement. So you vouch for her? I do. No. All right. Uh, I suppose the the thing can help rectify whatever paper work it is. Uh, look, follow me. And uh, he <laughs> rolls up uh, whatever papers he has, puts in his in his uh, little tube, and walks off. He looks over his shoulder, making sure you guys are following him. I walk over to Lehman. What was that about? Oh, Lehman's gonna look at her. They're just trying to make sure that everything is in order. And, uh, we got a tiefling in our last group. You're another tiefling. So, paperwork and legalities, I'm sure. Oh, I mean, I've got this. She pulls out her old Military rank. That should help, right? Speed things along? I would hope so. Good. All right. Paperwork. All right. So you guys follow him and eventually um, <clears throat> go up to um, the Jarl's uh, residence where the thing resides. Um, you guys go in there, and as you go inside, it's definitely a lot busier than last time you guys remember um, guards are uh, going around and uh, full armor and weapons of uh, scribes are uh, trying to rush from place to place with uh, stacks of papers in their hands. Um, a guard comes up to you and asks you to follow him. Um, and as he walks, uh, he walks past where you remember the Thane's office is, but doesn't enter. He seems to be going somewhere else in the inside of the castle. Alright. Swear to God, if we don't get what we asked for, I'm gonna be super pissed. Well, Leslie's just gawking at everything. <laughs> Alright. I assume you guys follow? Yep. 
All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So eventually, it takes you probably um, a solid two minutes to get to where uh, he's leading you, trying to uh, push through all the throngs of people. Um, and eventually you come up to these large double um, metal doors. Oh, boy. Uh, he stands guard uh, by it and pretty much, uh, you know, he says for you to go in. Okay. Um, we will push the doors open and walk on in. I follow after. All right. Um, as you guys go in, um, you see this very large and long oaken table. Uh, you see empty seats um, all beside it. However, at the head of the table, um, you see lit by large candles and um, a pretty good spread of food and drink. Um, you see this man at the head. He kind of looks at he kind of looks at you for. Assuming that's the Arl. He looks like he's inspecting you and waves you to come further in. The Fars is gonna walk on in. Yeah, we can keep on walking. Keep on walking. There's food and meat to be had. <laughs> yeah. Please eat your fill. My thane speaks highly of you. Oh shit! Oh great. Mm, Lehman will nod. Uh, I don't, I'm trying to think if there was like any special title they used for the Jarls. Just, um, just call, just calling him uh, by his last name or by his title is you know, fair enough. That's what we're right. gonna use for proper. Okay. Yeah. So... Uh, Leslie salutes like one of his military people. Would. That is. Sit down. Lehman will nod, of course, my y'all. And he's going to sit down and he's going to start. He's kind of hungry. He's going to start tanning. <laughs> Fars is yeah, going to look at the plate and be like, boy, y'all, yeah, you, you know how to throw a feast. This is way better than elk meat. And just sits down and says, all right, what am I eating first? <laughs> you all have done great services to Rhymeholm and for the Yaldum itself. It would be proper to reward you as such. I understand that for a reward, your mall promised to title you. Is that correct? Who is he asking? Because technically there was two of us. That yeah, asked. there's two of them for that. Yeah. Um, yeah he's just kind of looking at all of you. Oh, I look. am a new addition. I wasn't part of that contract. I was informed that there was a tiefling among the group. I was not aware there was more than one. Lehman all. Something happened to the last one. <laughs> Very well. Uh, Lehman will look up to the Jarl. That is correct. That was our requested reward. As for the other tiefling, Leslie speaks true. Something did happen. She, after more time with her, we found she was a treacherous snake, and thus we disposed of her. That is unfortunate. A friend turning coat is never a, a joyous occasion. However, I am glad that you did what needed to be done. Now, on to the topic of your title. I would be more than gracious and more than happy to grant you your wish. However, there is a certain task that needs to be done before such a thing can be given. One that is public, and one that is known to the people. Your acts in dismantling the menagerie and the three people who sought to construct it is a grand feat in, in and of itself. However, the common folk, the farmer, the blacksmith, they do not know, to, know of this. And in a time where war seems to be inevitable, they need an icon and heroes to look to, to help rally them. 
and with warriors such as yourself, I hope you can be those icons. Um, Lehman's gonna look very kind of, he's gonna look kind of shocked and then he's gonna bow kind of humbly. All in service of the people, my y'all. He nods, he seems to approve of your answer. Um, unfortunately, I cannot speak even behind closed doors of the threat that we face. But in due time, you will learn. And I'm sure that you will understand why everything must, must be kept a secret. However, let's look to the present for now and to your reward. I'd like to name you all and even your new addition here. Uh, I'm sorry, I never caught your name. I'm Leslie. Sir? Leslie. I would like to name you all Radnigars. What did he name us? Ragnigars? Ragnigar. I'm assuming that's like a Ravni uh, Ravningar. But, oh, like a Raven Guard? Uh, basically, yeah. They're, What's going uh, on, Snakey? To those of you who are more military inclined, uh, that's basically like the elite of the elite warriors. Uh, basically just below a commander of an army. Uh, no, Leslie, not... Leslie starts choking on whatever she was eating at the time. <laughs> <laughs> because you're a service to the Yard, I think this is more than fit. You have already proven your skills to hold this title. Note leans over to Farger. Does that mean we're all knights? <laughs> Farger's gonna look back at Note and be like, I don't fucking know what he said, but the meat is good. If you want to be a knight, then get demoted from this. Uh, you wish to be a knight. Uh, I... uh, Note stands up. Um, I, I asked to be uh, a knight of the realm, sir. <laughs> I love that. I don't know. He kind of raises an eyebrow at you and chuckles to himself. Uh, I can assure you that this will mean that and much more. But if you would like me to knight you, then I can. Huh. Yeah. E yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, sir. It would be, uh, he looks to Lehman in honor. Like really? trying to like see if that's the right words to say. <laughs> Lehman's gonna give him a slight nod, and then when it looks away, just kind of like face ball. Well, yeah, it would like be it would be an over. honor to have unite me, sir. Very well. I look forward to it when you come back. No, it's just gonna sit down and fist pump. Yes. <laughs> Or just is going like he's trying not to choke on this fucking leg of lamb and pats him like on the back. Success. There you go, like bud. No, just did the success kid meme. Yeah, he did. Oh, um, he, uh, the Yarl reaches down next to him, and you see a large leather pack. He uh, ruffles through and brings out a very old map of Arvuk. Um, he sets it down, and he points to uh, down south, uh, where he knows where the Yogur Skellin Mountains are. Um, he he uh, continues on saying, Long ago, I want to say, about ten years ago, there was an attempt at colonization of the mountains to bridge peace and trust between us and the trolls. It was going decently well until three months ago. We stopped receiving any trade or communications between us in Dalchwold, the, the settlement that we put there. <coughs> yes! yes! Yes, I almost killed Killian! Oh, that's great! Oh, that's great! Thank you for I'm trying to drink water too, dick! <laughs> Jesus! Uh, yes! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Kadish, you. You're fine, you're fine. <laughs> I believe that trolls and their supposed king will be a great asset to us in coming conflicts. But we cannot ask them for aid without the settlement. We need to know what happened to them. 
and if they still are even there. I would like you to go investigate, and if they are still functioning, resume communications with Rhymeholm. Um, Lehman will give him a kind of a salute. Of course, my arm. Hmm. May Freya's protection guide you all. You are dismissed. For Reinhold! Oh god, not this again! Leslie, Leslie gives him a salute. <laughs> when, when note says for Reinhold, Lehman's gonna look over at him. Calm down, there's not a dragon. <laughs> there's not a dragon. <laughs> I'm surprised none of you fucking skinned the dragon. We have its head. No, I have its we, head. We I do have, have its head. Oh, that's right. I have okay. its head on my belt. Uh, Farger, go ahead and make me a nature check. A nature check. Good to go. Yes. It smells like shit. Thank you. Yeah. You know, just something in the back of your head. Um, you think its teeth and its eyes could be of some use, though it immediately doesn't really come to, uh, come to your mind. Okay. You just think, like, oh, these could be useful. If if you want to ruin your trophy, that is. I mean, I could have a gumless blind dragon and still hold worth. <laughs> True. Um, it just won't look as good as the on the mantle. Yeah. Um, all right. So as you guys, uh, as you guys leave his, uh, I want to say, you know, it's more like a dining hall than a real office. Um. You, uh, see, let me go ahead and uh, bring this into view. Uh, you see, uh, Yomal waiting for you, um, just outside. Uh, he, he nods in your direction and, uh, the dog comes up and, uh, sniffs on note. I assume you're meeting 112? That's it, did. And I hope he agreed to our terms. We were all named Aradnengar. Kind of raises his eyebrows at that. Uh, a little bit surprised. But he nods. That's good. That's good. Uh, and if I'm not mistaken, we do have some other payments that we need to make. That would be appreciated. Some coin would be nice. <laughs> um, he hands you all, um, except for you, Leslie. Uh, he hands you all the gold that you were promised. All right. What was that? I can't remember. I can't remember. Uh, I believe it was two hundred gold pieces. Sweet tits. Heck yeah. Holy fucking Jesus. Yeah. Rich bitch. No. I still have to pay 750 gold pieces to get that plate armor repaired. <laughs> <laughs> um, That'd take a while. He, uh, he goes up next to you guys. Uh, no. Uh, Dolchwold is quite a ways away uh, in the yoga scale of the mountains. Uh, I will arrange transport for you there. Um, hopefully the seas will be kind to us. Whenever you are ready, uh, Go to my steward, and he will have everything set up within the hour. Very well. Thank you. Bars is just going to look at him. You're the one of magical swords, aren't you not? Well, I am. And he lays the head of the dragon on the, the table. What can I do with the eyes and the teeth of this beast? But he, kind of, he kind of backs up a little bit, just seeing this decapitated dragon head. Uh, what but, can I yeah. do with this? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh... uh he kind of looks at it. Um, let's see here. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, he looks at it and inspects the head. Um, the gold dragon. That's quite the find. Quite the kill. It's uh, quite a fight. It's too bad it's still young. If it was a little bit older, the properties it would have would be a bit more potent. However, uh, the teeth... Uh, Many people do not know this. Act as a metal. You can melt it down just like iron or steel. You can make that into quite a weapon. Its eyes can also be made into potions. Far is going to look at the group and be like, Dragon potions and dragon weapon. I am got to find a smith. 
yeah, you, <laughs> what is old one? Yeah. Yeah, you do. <laughs> one second, guys. Okay. Uh, sorry. Uh, but yeah, he, uh, informs you of that, um, he, he kind of, you know, uh, strokes his beard a little bit thinking, now that I think of it, a dwarf came in not too long ago, and he's setting up shop. If anyone can spit you a weapon from dragon's teeth, I think a dwarf can. Car's just gonna be like, like, light bulb just pops off. Oh, we met him! That's where I got the wolf hide! I'm going to see him. <laughs> I... I think you should do so. Thank is you, this uh Thane. is this Thane Yalmal? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh Note's gonna walk over and he's got his hands behind his back and he's kinda kicking around the dirt dirt and everything. Um Thane Yalmal, um uh, my horse kinda died. Uh, do you have any extras, you know, like <laughs> war horses? Oh god. Sir. Lehman's gonna look to Thane Yalmal. <laughs> His his horse died when he charged the dragon, screaming for Rhino. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure the steed has found a good place in the heavens. Uh, yes, I can go ahead and arrange for a horse to be made for you. That fucking horse went to Valhalla. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's telling its tales right now. Uh, they uh, no, it's going to look up at him, smiling. Uh, thank, thank you, Thane Yolmal, uh, for, for Reinholm, and he's gonna he's gonna do the same salute that he saw uh, Leslie and them do. It's really weird seeing a Warforce smile because they don't really have like okay, the equivalent of smile, like a jaw. So like you just hear like creaking metal. <laughs> All right, um, but with that, uh, I've. A lot of business to attend to. Uh, many papers to sign. Uh, I wish you good luck in your journeys. And I look forward to when you turn. <clears throat> and with that, he pats his leg. His dog uh, comes over to the side and he walks off in a hurry. Um, so actually, because I just saw some a message that reminded me of this. So as we're walking out, because I actually had Lehman pick it up, Lehman will. Uh, turn to note, and he will hand him the Sword of McLeod. I believe you earned this more than any of us. Uh, no, Note's gonna take it and heft it. Now I can kill our enemies with this. <laughs> Lehman's gonna chuckle. Yes, you can. Uh, Kyle, you know what the sword does? Yeah, it's, uh... It's a great it's a great sword that I can wield as a one-handed weapon yep. after attunement. Yep, all right. Um yeah, with that said, ooh, uh one thing the the uh Thane would also do for you is he would point out to you where the dwarf is. Uh please. Yeah, he will be in the uh craftsman district. He said that just yesterday he actually got papers and stuff like that to open up shop. Oh, good. So Farger's just swinging his big ass uh, dragon's head as he makes his way to the the district. He's like, "I'll be back." <laughs> he's, he's like, Les <laughs> Leslie follows, seeming to be more mesmerized by the dragon's head than anything. Farger's gonna look back. Can I help you? She's drooling a little bit, like she's hungry. <laughs> well, that sucks we're all. I mean, we're all going. Oh, everybody's <laughs> going. Okay. Yeah, everybody's yeah. going. Okay. <laughs> all right. Uh. Was it, are you gonna like take the dragon's head? Like, are you no, she's drooling over. Okay, okay. It's like it's like you know, uh, it's very clear that she's looking at it like she wants to eat it. All right, it sounds good. And it's got her full um, attention. It takes you guys a little bit um, to navigate through the Craftsman District, um, but you eventually find a, actually a pretty sizable uh, workshop. Um, you see that the outside is made almost entirely a uh, very uh, finely etched stone. Um, you see a great big chimney on the top billowing this black smoke. Um, as you walk by it, the intense heat has melted all the snow around it and actually warms you very warmly. Like It actually feels nice just being around the place. Uh, but inside you hear the clanking of uh, hammers and the sound of billowing fires. Um, on the top, you see a sign that shows an anvil, um, and on the uh, 
right above the anvil is the rising sun. All right. Um, so we're just gonna look. Up. I think we found the place. Lehman's gonna chuckle as he opens the door. All right. Uh, you open the door. You actually see um, a few <laughs> patrons inside. Um, but what is most odd and probably a little bit odd to you, uh, Co, is uh, you also see uh, various um, constructs inside that looks eerily similar um, to Note. Um, looking at the uh, customers and going back and um, and going in the back rooms and stuff like that, it seems like they're acting almost as like stewards. Note's going to actually try to strike out conversation with one of them. It just ignores you. Uh, that That's quite rude, my friend. Should I give you a lesson in pain? He pulls out his warhammer. It ignores you and walks away. <laughs> or just ah, man. Like, okay. man of little words. They're, they're probably early. Would seem... Um... But after so, uh, what do you guys do? You don't seem to see uh, your dwarven friend. I'm gonna go looking around the shop for my dwarven friend. All right, uh, you kind of look name? around and you see a little window where people can uh, look in and watch the craftsmen at work, and you see um, the dwarf that you saw earlier clanging on metal. Um, pretty much doing all of the blacksmithing work himself. Well, this seems to be work for about ten men. He's doing all by himself. Um, leave me kind of like tap on the window to try to get his attention. Uh, <laughs> make me a strength check. See how hard you can tap on this. You can actually get his attention. Athletics? Yeah, you can do athletics. <laughs> okay! Nice! Uh, so you tap extremely hard on the glass, um, the heat of which almost burns your hand. If you, you feel like if you just kept it there for like another second, you would have this really nasty burn in your hand. Um, but you do so, and he looks up and looks over at you, his great big beard just, uh, you see, like, cinders in it, and he gives you this big toothy grin, um, he holds up a finger for you, almost like, you know, just give him a minute. All right. Um, before that minute is up, you see probably about five of the constructs walk out. Um, they, they have these um, heavy black aprons on, um, and they uh, walk over to all the customers that aren't you guys, and you hear them saying, uh, please leave. The, uh, the master needs space. He will get your orders done tomorrow. Bar's just gonna look up. Tell him I have a special order with a goat and dragon that I think will catch no, his interest. No, they're talking to people. Yeah, they're that. talk. Yeah, they're talking to everyone besides you. Oh, I thought they were talking oh. to us. Okay. Nope. Uh, uh, there are there are. So other wait, am I up, am I included with the others? Uh, no, they saw you walk in with them. You're not being. Oh, okay. Um, but you, you see a few of the patrons disgruntled, but I mean they they can't really do anything about it, so they leave. Um, after every, everyone is gone, you see. Um, the dwarf walk out. He has this almost what looks to be a wand. Um, he speaks a word in, in dwarvish, and the constructs, um, you know, jolt up and they walk uh, to the back rooms. Ah, you gotta love dwarven runes. Hello, friends. I was afraid I wouldn't see you again. Are you going It's good to see you. It's good to see you too. And then he reaches up to uh, grasp for her hand. Uh, Far is going to grab it as he drops like, right. the dragon's head, like dropping off to his belt side. I've got a special request from you, good sir. Oh. Well, that is something special. What would you like me to do with it? Far is going to just put the head on the table. Could you make a long sword out of this? Lehman's gonna look over to Farzer, but you don't use a long sword. I know. Now hush. <laughs> uh, he uh, he looks at it and, and inspects it. Um, a long sword <laughs> with teeth like these. I can make whatever you want, as long as provided it's not too large. I just need a good 
long sword or battle or war axe, whichever one you prefer would be a more challenging task for your exquisite work. Mm. Just kind of like under his breath. I wonder if he could do both. Far's gonna be like, can you do both? Uh, with the amount of teeth here, I'm afraid I can only make one blade. Or if you want arrows, I can make those as well. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll lose arrows. We all know how a ranger works. I buy in bulk for a reason. That's a good point. <laughs> you said you wanted the arrows? No, he said, no. I, oh. why would I make okay, arrows? Okay, because okay. I lose arrows because I buy in bulk for a reason. Well, I imagine uh, that these would be a lot sturdier. I think you'll forget who you're talking to. But if you would like a blade, I could do that as well. Yeah, could you give me one one of your most exquisite dwarven long blades or long swords? Uh, he uh, kind of strokes his beard for a minute, still look, still eyeing the dragon. Uh, I think I could do that. <clears throat> It'll be pricey Le though. Well Leland's going to look to Farter. I still don't understand why you're doing a long sword. The arrows would be more, more effective for you. Can you just let me do business? My thane in training. No, no, it's gonna walk over. Shh, daddy's Wait, doing business. Wait, what? Thane in training? Don't worry yourself, it's a joke that I have. I love how disregarded everything Note just said. No, to I, heard, I, heard, I, heard, <laughs> I heard it. Note. Shh, daddy's doing business. <laughs> I just Jesus. try not to laugh too much for Note. I'm, I'm still trying to drink water as we play. Speaking of, I'm actually going right. to need some water. I'll be right back. So, All right. Uh, well, um, so, so he's, he's looking at it. Yeah, Farsh uh, going to be, what kind of payment are we talking? Let's see if we can strike a deal. <laughs> a haggler. I like you already. Uh, <coughs> well, if you wanted to pay in gold, uh, he kind of, you know, still inspecting the dragon, seeing how much he has to work with, how much metal that he'll have to use himself. Mm-hmm. It'll be probably about uh, five hundred gold pieces. Farger's gonna look at his sack and be like, "Hmm, what about four hundred gold pieces?" And you can keep the head to hang into your beloved establishment, as your patrons can look on to see of one of the jarls. What do you call us, Ragnar Ragnagars? Ragnagars. Yeah. yeah. As one of the Jarl's Ragnagars has personally came and got work from your well fine blacksmithing store. Oh, you've been promoted then. Uh, congratulations. Thank uh, you. Maybe a persuasion check. Okay. Oh, this is. For the love I, of God, get it. This is, this is when I. Heart of, heart of Videl. Heart of Videl. Heart of Videl. <laughs> nope. Uh, oh, um. No, He right. looks at it. Uh. Make it 475 we got a deal. I'd have to also pay to give the dragon fake teeth. Yeah. 475 uh, it is, and he shakes his hand. When can I expect this sword to be done, my good friend? Give it a week. A uh, week? I've worked with dragon's teeth before, and it can be a very hard metal to try and ply. Uh, but give it a week, and I'll have you the finest blade I can make. Uh, Farge just reached out his hand. A week it is. And he just hands him the dragon off the belt. All right. Uh, he'll grasp your forearm and shake it. Uh, and he'll take the uh, dragon's head. He speaks into uh, the wand one more time. And one of the constructs comes out, takes the head, and brings it into the back room. Do we, do we get this guy's name? It's uh, uh, Yes. Uh, he's Dorgan. an important NPCs. Yeah, yeah. Dorgam Barclay. Uh, Lehman's going to... Uh... Foot to Dorgam. I have a request, Dorgam, if you are willing to allow it. Of course. Let me think for a friend. Uh, he's going to pull out the rusted uh, set of plate mail armor. We are currently about to depart, depart for another mission. We were able to scaven or salvage this on our last one. I would hate for anything to, more to happen to this before I could pay for its repair. Would I be permitted to store it in your shop until I can pay you for such a job? Oh, sure thing. Cool. Uh, look, you can get the dragon body armor. 
It'll be the badass thing. Well, unfortunately, the hide on the head is not enough to actually make it to armor. If you find the full body of a dragon, well, then we're talking. Bones and skin can be uh, very valuable for protection. Farger's like, I'm writing this down now. Uh, the flesh always... is is. Would you need that? Uh, I, I suppose not. Good. Um, he you know speaks another word in the wand, and the construct takes the armor and brings it back. Um. Also, don't forget, uh, you know, many magical creatures have properties that you can use from things such as their hides, blood, eyes, and uh, some such that, believe it or not, are very easily made into weapons and armor and other items. My clan is very used to that sort of thing. So, for a price and for a bit of a finder's fee, eh. I can see what I can do. Very well. Like, I'll, I'll, I like doing business with you. Alright. But if this is anything else, I have some uh, commissions I need to work on. I wish you all a good day. Barge would be like, I'll see you in a week. Thank you, good sir. Mm. He uh, not see you grunts and uh, he'll go back into his little workshop area. Or she's just gonna look back to. I'm famished. As he pulls out blueberries and starts eating them. <laughs> he casts good berry. No, no, no. Leslie's looking at the door that the dwarven smith just walked through with the dragon's head, still drooling. Lehman's gonna look to Leslie. All right, what are what is the deal here? I, uh, sorry, deal with what? You're looking after that dragon's head drooling. Like don't know. Dog. I just, for some reason, it just seems so appetizing. Good one. You can taste it. <laughs> uh, Note's gonna lean into Farger. She's a fat ass. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> yeah, look at those thighs. <laughs> Farger's just gonna look up at uh, Note and be like, "I'm starting to see your idea." <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> As he continues to eat his berries. Ah. Uh. No, it's going right. to say to her, you should have seen her at the table. She wouldn't stop shoveling shit in her mouth. <laughs> I can oh, hear no. you, you know. Or she's going to be like, well, By I the wasn't going to stop. already loved your character. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, that was Bill. Uh, I told you she already loved his character because it says disdain of heresy, maximum. <laughs> uh, with that said... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, do you guys have any other business you want to take care of? Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, I gotta buy health potions. Ooh, I might. Let me look at my supply. At four, I'm good. I'll All right. Uh, yeah, you're able to find a potion shop. Uh, just for the sake of brevity, you can find them for four. How much? Fifty. Fifty each. Yep. All right. Only doing the two that I've been doing so far. All right. And um, just out of curiosity, what is the fucking necklace I have been wearing this whole time that I've been playing? You this have game? to tell me. You you have to remind me. It is your item. <laughs> <laughs> well, you bought. I bought it, and you're like, oh yeah, just put it in there as a, ne a necklace. It's, I don't uh, know what. I don't know what it is. Hold on, I've got oh. it still on my thing. It's the amulet of what I named it as is the amulet of health or nah, because yeah. it, you have to roll above a um, uh, what was it? You have to roll above like a ten in order to get health, and if you roll below it, you don't. Um. Yeah. So basically, every can every I sell time... this damn thing? Uh, sure. Where are you selling it at? I don't know. Pawn shop. <laughs> Pawn shop. Uh, Sorry, best I can do is a I'm, copper. I'm, I'm gonna go with note on this, but I don't need mine as well either. Okay, fair enough. Uh, yeah, you find a pawn shop. They look like they'll take it for hundred gold. Oh, yeah. Okay, very well. I wash my hands of you. <laughs> they take it for how much? Hundred. Oh hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. I completely forgot what you guys bought it for, so I'm just. We got <laughs> it on the first ever quest. Cause you're like, oh, it's an amulet. And me and Note go, we put it on. 
like immediately yeah, yeah. after we bought it and i was like okay i'm not going to use this thing like yeah like we thought it was going to do us do something for us but it didn't do jack shit i mean it's good at low levels because you know two health two hit points are pretty good um yeah but yeah but... yeah um anyways okay uh anyone else want to do anything uh with the time that really i'm good okay all right. With, with that said, just so you guys know, this is where the yogurt scale and mountains are. Um, Click that again. Right down here, just okay. south. Oh, okay. South south of home. Okay. Oh, since we finally have the map up, you want me to put Leslie's hometown, basically? Uh, if you would like to. Um, all right. With that said, so I assume you guys go to one of the uh famed stewards and request the boat um within the hour um you were informed that a ship is ready for you um when you go uh note you see a uh fully um you know saddled and bridled uh warhorse i'm gonna Ooh. take the saddle that's currently on toss it to the side and put the saddle of the cavalier on it Okay. <laughs> they they take the saddle and return it. Um it will be about uh two days to get to the younger scale of the mountains. Okay. Um, James, just while, out of curiosity, would I've been sure able thing. would did we leave after I got the sword commissioned or did we leave before the sword was commissioned? You would have to leave after wait, what? I'm asking, you would have to I, leave after just, you commissioned the sword. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Do I? Did we like a week later? Did we go or what? Oh no. Well, I mean, like you could wait a week, but the Jarl seemed to want this done like yesterday. Okay, just asking. Okay. So yeah, like uh, you think that by the time you guys get back, it'll be uh, uh, nearly done, if not already done. Um, okay. But yeah, uh, with that said, it'll take you guys about two days to get to the shore. Um, during your time on the boat, is there anything specific you guys want to do? Not throw up. Not throw Not up. Throw up. <laughs> okay, everyone only constitution saving throws. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good one. Uh, damn it. Let's see. All right, everyone pass. Um, so yeah, you're able to... Uh, Keep your food in your stomachs um, by the time you guys arrive at the shore. Um, when you do, um, the captain of the ship hands you a map um, from the Jarl, uh, basically giving you a path of where to go in order to get to the settlement. All right. Um, with that, he says, uh, he says, uh, I will return in approximately uh four days that should be more than enough time to make contact with the solomon and relieve any problem that they have <clears throat> and with that he pushes off from the shore uh you don't think he's he's going all the way back to rhyme home but he's gonna stay away from the port gotcha all right so um Update real quick. Bill said he should be on here soon. Are we meeting yeah. Bill on the island? Uh, I guess we'll see. <laughs> That's a good question. All right. Mr. Professor. So, with that said, you guys do have a map. Uh, however, this is an area that I would assume none of you have been to before. Um, pretty much the only uh instance of people from the mainland going to yoga scale and um has been the settlement that any of you have heard of um so with that said actually making it to the settlement is gonna i'm gonna need survival checks but it's gonna be at disadvantage um you assume that from looking at the map and you know kind of uh looking at where you are and looking where the settlement is it'll probably take you about half a day's travel um with good weather are we all making these survival checks whoever's leading that would be the ranger the ranger would be doing it but here's my thing as well because from the picture it looks like we're in partially a forest yes so it would be normal rules uh, for me it will be normal rules for you yes okay that's all i need to know 
yeah, this is mostly foresty area. Um, even though that this area is called the Yogoskema Mountains, the mm-hmm. mountains are actually not the entirety of the island. Um, the mountains are more in the center. Yeah, the focal point the rest, of the island. Yeah, exactly. The rest of it is shores and forests. Okay, very well. Just going into this, making sure I'm knowing my terrain. All right. Step off the boat. I look at the map, and hey, never mind. We're going to be doing bad this time, boys. All right. <laughs> um, so, you know, you can't get lost, right? So, yeah. But you end up taking a path that is more heavily forested than the others. It's hard to navigate through. Uh, while you guys are here, um, everyone make me perception checks. Salad 14. All right. So in perception 17. I just wanted this to go unnoticed, guys. I did this on purpose. Um, <laughs> um all right. I get lost, so, I'll play it off like I'm not lost. Yeah, exactly. That's the only way to do it. Um So yeah, as you guys um are navigating your way through the forest um leslie and farger um you guys look out in the distance and on um a bit of a higher ground than you guys on cliffs you see several wolves looking down at you i would um, see them as well yeah no we see them as well unless we all well, have disadvantage for some wait, reason wait. oh yeah where's no- where, oh, Ragnar notes, I just saw. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Uh, then, yeah, you would also see this note. Um, Liam is probably just grumbling about how we're all lost. Um, no, you guys, no, look, they're, they're probably about 50 feet away from you guys. Uh, but they're just looking at you, almost as if they're watching. Note is, uh, to be on the safe side, going to pull out his new sword. Uh, Leslie takes her necklace off, wraps it around her wrist with the crystal in her hand Mm. tightly. They don't seem to do anything. As you guys walking, yeah, as you guys are walking, they're just following you. Hey, Ranger, you think they're uh tamed? No, so what leading us to an ambush? Or you can make a nature check to see if they are. Nature check. <laughs> I'm the worst, uh, yeah, ra- you, I'm the you worst ranger ever right now. <laughs> you can't really tell that well. They they might be. Uh, nope. Like they haven't attacked you, but you're not sure. Nope. <laughs> Dude, these are the feralest <laughs> wolves you have ever seen. <laughs> Note squares up and yells at him. Come on, you little bitches! Uh, Lehman's gonna look to note that was highly uncalled for. <laughs> uh, Leslie starts laughing. <laughs> as you guys are doing this, Farger, you mentioned that you were continuing to be going on. Make me another survival check. Yes, sir. Coming up. Survival. There we go. A little bit better. All right, that's pretty decent. Um, you you start to get on the uh, proper path, um, and you actually see that this was. Um, either a natural path or made by the settlers when they came here. Um, but it's definitely a lot better ground. You feel like you're making a lot better time. However, as all of you are looking behind you, uh, the wolves are still kind of trailing you. Uh, still not engaging. Um, but for those of you who are looking out a bit more intently, it almost looks like there's an intelligence in their eyes. And after a while... Can uh, I roll insight of... on them? Sure, go ahead. Um, you get the feeling that they are more curious than actually looking for their next meal. However, you've never known wolves to actually follow travelers for at least this long. Maybe they'll follow them to see, like, you know, if they're a good prey, but never to actually, oh, I guess the best word to say is study. Yeah, but after a while, as you guys are continuing forward, uh, one of them looks, uh, one of them howls, the others howl, and they trot off. Very well. That was weird. Wolves are a weird creature. 
Now I want you guys to make me another perception check. Yes, sir. Wow. Gonna be that kind of night. I'm all over I see the place. a 10, a 15, 7, 5. Okay, Farger. Yes, sir. You're the only one that notices this. You look up from your map a little um, as they are howling and as you see the wolves are going away. And at first you're a little bit relieved maybe to know that you don't really have to uh, fight anything. Yep. But then off in the distance behind you, you, you see a tree shake. And you see birds... Fly off. Oh, Farge is gonna be. Farge is gonna hold the the hold the halt sign and just he's gonna observe watching the trees and he's like, they left because there's something bigger out here to kill us. Leslie turns and squares up for a fight. Yeah, Sorry, I'm, I'm just doing. Damn, too bad you wasted that crit. Um, I don't even care. I'm setting shit up. <laughs> after a while, you hear this loud guttural howl. Um, more trees are shaking behind you as whatever is coming closer and closer. It's maybe about 500 feet off. Uh, well, Far is going to be like, should we ambush? On a different trail. Lame it. Did everybody else just cut out? Yeah, everyone. Yeah, cut out. it did uh, sound like the, the last thing I heard is Lehman is. Yeah, that, that's all I heard. <laughs> oh. Lehman, Lehman looks to uh, um, Farger and he's just going to be like, This is kind of your area of specialties. All your recommendation. Well, Farger's going to look off and uh, is there a good ambushing site around where we're at right now? Uh, as you look around, you are in a forest, so kind of everywhere. Well, I'm talking more uh, high however, shrubs and stuff. Oh, high shrubs? Mm -hmm. Uh, make me a perception check. Okay. Yeah, you see a few places you can probably hide instead of an ambush. Uh, however, one thing does pop in your mind is that this is not your forest. And this thing, it's its forest, so... An ambush might not be as effective as you think it might be. Lee, Farge is going to look at the group. Well, weapons at the ready because we're going to have to fight this thing probably. But it is probably... coming slow though. It's not rushing, so you feel like you could probably outpace it if you wanted to. Okay. Especially with me on a horse, I could outpace you all. Yeah, you could. Ow! I just popped my fucking jaw. So we're going to try to push past it. Okay. Uh, make me a survival check. Yes, sir. Fifteen. Okay, yeah. Uh, you find a trail that has the least amount of uh, things in your way. Okay. Um, you manage to pick up the pace a little bit, and uh, whatever was behind you uh, seemingly is not following you anymore. However, you can still hear its howls off in the distance. Um, as you do, you see... Boop, boop, boop. Uh, this... Uh, okay. You come to a clearing in the forest, and right below you see a small settlement. Um, it seems that people are in fact there. You see smoke rising from what you assume to be chimneys. It's not black smoke, it is white smoke, so probably from an actual uh, you know, chimney fire. Farge is going to look at you. Found it! Lehman, you're up! <laughs> He was just gonna look at Farger. You need me to hit something? No, I need you to talk to something. He's just gonna chuckle. I know what you meant. Okay, good. As long as we're on the same and, page. And Leon will start leading the group into town. As as they walk by, Farger's like, I, did, I thought you went in. Uh, uh, no, looks to Farger. I thought you wanted to hit something. Let's see if they find a tavern and we'll see how I can hit something. <laughs> All right. Farger's All right, so you guys. <laughs> Ah, oh, excuse me. You guys descend the mountain, and I won't make you roll for this with Farger's expertise. Uh, he can help you guys uh, descend the mountain for those of you who aren't used to it. Um, and obviously, you can't get lost. You're, it's right in front of you. Um, it takes you probably about another good three hours to actually get to town. Uh, by the time you are, it's around nightfall. Uh, and as you get closer and closer, you see that there are 
are a few people um, milling about. Um, how do you guys approach? Um, well, not weapons drawn or anything like my that. My bow's probably like in my hand. I'm just walking like. Doo, 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 doo. Okay. So um, you want me to go in like this, or do you want me to? I'm asking like the group. You want me to go in like this, or do you want me to? I don't know. Be more inconspicuous. You know, like you do you want to hide yourself from the populace, or do you want to be known as just a person that don't give a shit? I'm asking you guys because I what don't what give Farge, a shit. That's what Farge is asking in character. <laughs> yeah, no, that's what she says. Okay. I'm asking you guys because I don't want to mess this up, but otherwise I don't give a shit. Cool. Stay how you are. Let's go. Cool. Yeah, okay. She um, just thumbs up and starts walking. Up. <clears throat> yeah, as you guys get closer, um, you see probably about you know five or so villagers um, milling about the settlement. Uh, however, um, one of the uh, villagers, I want to say a woman, uh, sees you guys approaching, and her wide, her, her eyes go super wide, and she runs away. Uh, she goes deeper into the village. She looks like she's trying to call for someone. Uh, when that happens, Lehman's going to look to Farger. You might want to cover that face up, or we're going to keep getting the same reaction. Farger covers the face <laughs> up. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, no, puts his hand on Farger's uh, shoulder. I wasn't going to say anything, but... <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. Um, emerging, uh, as you guys, I assume you guys enter the village proper? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring you guys over here. Uh, I will go nice. ahead and reveal what you guys see. Uh, go ahead and... Then when we're dropping over here. Okay. You see this. Wow. Did anyone else experience that again? Yes. Yeah, where it cut out? Yeah. yeah. Oh, we, oh, I didn't even notice we cut out. Um, huh. I motion that we move to another server. Uh, do we have a server that Bill also has? Space one. He's in. Uh, he's also in the high seas one. Oh, is he? Okay, let's go. I, I invited him, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, yeah he, he is, is in there. Okay, let's go high seas. All right. Uh, I honestly think it's a Discord it? thing, not a server thing. Usually when right. people cut, usually when the voice cuts out like that, it's a server thing or Discord thing. Uh, um, but yeah. Anyways, here, um, this woman runs away. Good job, partner. You're welcome. Um, and you Thank see you. this guy. Um, he he has a uh like a white shirt. <laughs> It's covered in blood, and he's holding what looks to be a long butcher's knife, um, also covered in fresh blood. And he looks over to you guys, and he starts walking over. Bars is going to be like, he's a big boy. <laughs> seeing, seeing that he's covered in bl blood and holding a kind of bloody knife, Lehman's hands is going to kind of be rusting on his long sword. Yeah, like the bow's in my hand, but it's like off to the side. Okay. Quick drop you of see, if I have to. You see a few of the um, other men walk over as well. Um, note, however, he's obviously just, taking the lead. Note, note, just raises his hand. Hi! Or, yeah, with, with the crystal in her hand, Leslie doesn't even he, make an attempt to look even more. He, you know. he raises the giant machete at you guys. He says, Oi! Who the fuck are you? That's not very nice. <laughs> Farge is going to look up. I was thinking the same thing. Lehman is going to look up. I am Radnagar Lehman the Russ. We were sent by the Jarl to see what has happened to the settlement. Yeah, bullshit. No one can get through the fucking forest. Uh, if you have the right ranger for the job, you can, good sir. You such a no. trap, elf. No, what no, elf? turns to the forest. We just made it through the forest. You literally just watched us walk out of the forest. We literally just did that. <laughs> we literally, we literally <laughs> just did that. Oh, I saw that. That means you're walking with it. It who? Who's it? Hey, maybe it's that big I'm thing that is trying to play a fucking follow us. What? Everyone's trying to talk over each other right now. I don't understand what the fuck just happened. <laughs> 
he, he, he yells at you, don't you play fucking dumb with me. I think he's talking about the thing that was that scared the wolves off. No, nope, looks at the Farger. Damn, they called you ugly, now they're calling you dumb. Yeah, well, I'm a man of many traits, so. That's okay, buddy. I still like you. Thank you. Farger's just gonna look at him. You talking about the big thing that chases wolves out of your forest? Go ahead and make me a persuasion check. Oh, God. Nat one. Nat one. <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, he yeah. he kind of he kind of looks looks at you a little bit confused. I really don't know about the base. Liam is gonna look at him. Uh, no. See, generally on a mission where you're sent to discover things, you generally don't have prior knowledge. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, I'll do that after the session, Elsa. Yeah, I just realized that I hadn't done it yet. Cool. cool. Um. He, he, uh, the road from the yard, Ram home. Aye. Yes. Oh, oh, God's praise be. He, <clears throat> he takes his shirt, wipes off his blade, trying to get the blood off of it. Uh, who the fuck is trying to call me? I don't even recognize his number. Mm -hmm. Um, he, uh, he still looks a bit flustered. Um, but it goes to the main next one. Uh, let's see. Oi, go tell Merlin. We got visitors. Can you just say, go tell Merlin? Merlin. Merlin. Oh. Okay, I thought Merlin too. I was like, oh boy. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> you guys um, are in a party he, with him. <laughs> the, the man nods and, uh, go, goes off. Um. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry for being high strung. We've been... We're having troubles as of late. Mm. Troubles, you That's say? Perfect. What kind of troubles? It's probably better for Moon to tell you. I'm Gerald. It's Pleasure to meet you. I take it you're the town's doctor. Lehman says slightly <laughs> humorously. I'm the butcher. Ah, That's butcher. what I was going with. Uh, no, no looks to Lehman. Is there a difference? Please, 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 please. A very big one. <laughs> he, he gives out this gun roll laugh. Ugh. Welcome, welcome to, uh, welcome to our humble boat. I take it the name is. Uh, what? what, what? Do we he said humble humble abode. Ah. Leslie says to note. I'm assuming that was in character. I mean, I was just asking the name. Oh. Uh, you know that the name is called Doll Trill. Let me go and take that for you. Doll oh, Trill. Wow, I didn't take notes last session at all. Um, he is going to go. Ahead, I'm going to go and reveal this wonderful map to you guys. Um, the. Oh, All look, right. the town whores. <laughs> Jesus. Um, With Farza around, of course, that's what they are. Oh, very well. He, uh, he uh, finds a nearby tree stump and jams his knife into it. Follow me. Merle's going to want to speak with you. Okay. And he goes and trots off. He uh, goes to this building, opens the door, and disappears. Say, so looking at that guy, it's more of a model. <laughs> he is kind of large. Uh, kind of large. That bitch is huge. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh, oh yay, yeah. Tavern! Yeah. Let me guess. Right. The crazy old guy is Merle. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> Crabberries! Um, wow. So yeah, uh, you walk in, and um, despite how the town in general looks, there are quite a few people in here. Um, from what you could gather from inside the tavern and uh, with the people that you saw outside, there's probably around 35 total people here. Um, so not a huge town, but definitely good for a settlement. Uh, there's a fire going by the uh, hearth place, and there's quite a few patrons in here. Um, of who you assume uh, is just more townsfolk trying to 
uh, bide their time. Um, so we could take them. <laughs> uh, let me Probably see. Let me go ahead Probably. and do do do. Wrong map. There we go. All right. Um. So, uh, Farger, since you're closest to him, he puts a hand on your shoulder and points to the bar. That's Murd over there. Uh, I suppose you could say he's our leader. Oh, okay. Very well. Lehman. Like this guy? All right. Farger's going to be like, Lehman, you're up. I'm going to go play tunes. <laughs> uh, you guys are there. getting quite a few looks towards your way. Uh, you feel like this is the <laughs> first time. Uh, people have seen new faces in a while. However, with uh, Gerald acting all chummy with you guys, they just kind of leave it at that and uh, continue doing what they are doing. Um, look, so I so Leslie, go up to the bar along with Nope and Lehman. All right, pull your fucking uh, character out there. Yeah, bring your fucking token up there, asshole. Um, yeah, it is up there. Where? Where? It's right above note. I don't Where? see it. What? I don't see it, bud. What are you talking like I'm clicking on it right now. You're talking about right I, here? Yeah, it was right I, there. I do not there's see no, anything. There's nothing there. <laughs> there's nothing there. <laughs> I'm literally looking at my token right there. There, there it goes. It is. Because I brought it there. I dropped it from my own sheet. Now it's deleted. <laughs> I've got I have one right here on my Nope, but I need to see it too. <laughs> did I like drop it on my own token layer or something? I think I, I did. Think I guess. Awesome. This is all uh, right, dude. Uh, be honest with us. Are you a witch? No. He's a witch. He's, He's a witch. He's a witch. Caleb. Um. Anyways. Um, I'm at the phylactery. Really so oh, you guys boy. see what looks to be a middle-aged old man, uh, giving you very quizzical looks. Um, especially at you, Leslie, though, he doesn't really seem interested in bringing up that conversation. Um, yeah, she just sit, sits down at the table with her tail swinging behind her happily. And she's this, got guy walks away. this guy walks away. <laughs> this guy also walks away. <laughs> oh, I see. Leave note sits down. Um, can you guys hear my roommate singing in the background? Yes. Bit. Yes. Tell uh, the autistic child to stop, please. That's Andre. My cat dying. Andre. No. What? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> um. What was I gonna say? Uh. No, I'm just kidding. You can continue doing you. Um. So he. Uh. So you know he's there cleaning a glass. More. You think more so to keep his hands busy. The glass is obviously clean, not wet at all. Um, he's looking at you. What would you like? I'll take a nail. Our meat. Gerald over there told us that he would like to speak with us. He he reaches underneath the bar and brings out, you know, uh, bottles of ale and stuff like that. That's right. Um, I'm sorry, it's been a while since we've seen anybody else. That's, we all thought the forest was haunted. Uh, that's fine, Leslie. <clears throat> Sweet. <laughs> uh, what'd you say, Lehman? Uh, Lehman's gonna look at him, and what has given you this impression? Did you encounter the beast? If you mean the massive creature that was howling, we did indeed hear it. Aye. Right. It's kind of overt for a haunting. Well... <clears throat> Allow me to explain. A few months ago, uh, our former leaders, um, Jury and Baron, they went out in the forest, and they never came back. Uh, around that time, we started hearing what you heard, and uh, as uh, let me go ahead and look up what this guy's name is. He. Uh, Looks over to uh, the man that Farger is sitting next to, um, Remy. Uh, you know. Remy's here. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, Remy, he used to be a hunter, and every last time he went out, he saw the beast. 
it would not let up hunt. It gave them quite a knocking for it. We've lost quite a few people trying to go out and fight the beasts. They all died. But every time we try to leave, those people die. Mm. We oh, don't uh, think it's the trolls. The trolls we've had a amicable relationship with for all five years now. We don't know what it is. Bad. Uh, he kind of uh, leans over to you, leaning and whispers, if, if I'm going to be honest, a lot of people think it's demons. Lehman looks at him and uh, what else has led you to that conclusion? Uh, he shrugs. Superstition. Uh, mostly. A lot of people here, after a while, they start to think things, hear things. Uh, some people bought over uh, tales of giant beasts roaming with uh, packs of animals, not letting people leave, letting them starve until they turn to yeah, unspeakable things. James, I have to ask out of character, is this a lesson? Oh, that's all you. <laughs> you, mind if I, you mind if I roll Arcana? See if sure. I can identify it from the description? Sure. Uh, I mean, honestly, it could be anything. Um, <laughs> it, it, no, it, like, like, legit, it really could. Like, you know, a lot of demons take the form of animals or something like that. Mm. Um, having one influence a pack of wolves or, um, or anything such as like that is not unheard of. Leslie pipes up. You know, it could be a demon or a devil. I've always wanted to kill one of those things. She seems pretty excited. As she to look it. over. How about you? Uh, what's the Shut phrase? up. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's gonna he's gonna put his hands. Like, Shh. You're gonna stir up the people. It's taking me this long to try and get them to quiet down. A lot of them they want to go out and try and face the beast, but they're gonna die if they do that. Well, isn't that why we're here to face the beast? I don't know. Is that why you're here? Lehman, we were here to re to find out what happened to the settlement and reestablish communications with Reinholm. We were by the Jarl himself. Very well. Seems like the beast is the thing that's stopping the communications. Yes, and the door is what lets you into the buildings. Well, consider my inn your inn. If you need food, shelter, I'm more than happy to comply. Uh, if you want anything, uh, information-wise, go talk to Remy. Uh, he's, as far as I know, the only one that's seen the beast and survived to tell the tale. Good. I set myself up in the right exact area to talk to him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so as they're talking, Farger, uh, this, uh, you see a man, he has... Um, an old bow and a quiver of arrows next to him. He seems to have his leg propped up. Um, he's enjoying food and ale, and as you sit down, he just kind of gives you this weird look. Farger says, um, "Are you are you the ranger for this fair establish uh, settlement?" I, I'm the hunter. Uh, excuse me, who are you? Oh, I am sorry. Where where are my manners? I am Farja Nightclaw. From the Crystal Forest, the, the Jarl sent us down here to check on the settlement and see why, see what's going on. And then we get told that there's a beast of some sort out in this forest. I figure since you are the ranger, maybe you can give me more inside information on what I'm exactly trying to deal with. Oh, finally we get some help. Uh, uh, go ahead and make me a perception check, Farger. Okay. Okay. Uh, he he's uh he tries to take his leg off from the prop position he has on the table uh, mm -hmm. to speak with you, um, but as he does, he seems to be in a lot of pain as he tries to do so. Um, and he leans forward. <clears throat> uh, all right. <clears throat> Shoot. So, what exactly? Can you tell me what it looks like? I saw that it's big because it moved trees. And the wolves decide to leave us alone, but as much as that goes, not my forest. This is your forest. I'm just a traveler trying to make meats of it. Huh. Uh, 
saying it's my forest. It's a stretch too, stranger. Uh, truthfully, this is the troll's forest. But we haven't seen an eye, hide, or tail from them in quite a while. They tend to keep themselves. Uh, as for the beasts, to be perfectly honest with you, I don't remember much. It was as big as a house, and snarled, and you know, did this to me. And he points to his leg, um, and you look underneath the table to it, you see that it's all swollen and infected. Um, you see a, um, you know, wrappings around where the wound is, and it's just blood has soaked right through it. Uh, it seems like he's keeping the best he can to try and not get amputated. So a potion, a potion of healing would not help him right now. What is that? I said a potion of healing wouldn't help him right now, would it? Probably not. Okay. Uh, this is far too late for that. Like it's not. It's past hit points and more like into disease. Gotcha. And Farz is gonna be like, so it's a nasty house that we're dealing with. Okay. Flaws and teeth. Uh, Did it give us any kind of smell? Ah, uh, it smelled like death. Like death. Yep. Okay. He, he's trying to pick his memory at flesh in its mouth and around its claws and blood. I don't know why it didn't kill me. They had creatures around it. They looked like wolves, but they didn't feel like wolves, if that makes sense. So it's a pack animal, and it's the alpha. I suppose. You've been much helped. What is it that my comrades and I can do for your settlement since you're up and I'm assuming you're the only hunter for the settlement my god Look what he can is. do you can kill it I can't go out to hunt we are running out of medicine we have a few animals here but in a month they're gonna have to die we need we need food and I don't even want to know what's going to happen in the winter months when we get to farm. Bill, you're muted. I know. i am got to find my headset. All right. Barger's just, he's taking all, he's writing like notes down of everything that's going on. And he looks up and he goes, what is your name? Uh, Remy. Remy, okay. And he's going, he goes, I tell you what, Remy, I'll see what we can do. Me and my com uh, uh, comrades here make sure that your settlement doesn't go quietly and waste away into the forest itself. Thank you. Uh, he, he leans in. You said you're from the Yarl, correct? We are. Then that means I can trust you with secrets. You can. Listen. Listen. I've seen... A few things here and there from my time being bedridden. Possibly things I wouldn't have seen if I were out and about. I would keep an eye on Gerald. He leaves at night. I can't see where he's going. Is Gerald in the tavern right now? Uh, yeah, he's right here, but um, as he you know sees that... Uh, the party has gone to the respective corners. He just kind of leaves. Okay, but that was the one that we met at the beginning too, right? Yeah, that was the big bad guy. Okay. I'll keep an extra eye out for him. Thank you for all your help, Remy. Shoot, you only have to keep half an eye out for a guy that big. Yeah, I know. He, you know <laughs> of course. And he continues to, you know, drink. My father's is going to come over here. Four L's, please. <laughs> You're a bit late to the party, as she, you know, holds up a bottle of ale. Who's, like, who the fuck said these were for you? I didn't say they were for me. I said you're late to the party. The Can fuck? I get four if, L's. If you, uh, <clears throat> sorry, um, the uh, the man in front of you, you know, he gives you guys your drinks. If you do, uh, there's been something else. We've seen uh, something other than you know, what to make of it. If you could go investigate while you're out there, there would there's I don't know how to describe it. A giant of a man. It's not a troll. It's 
Yeah, something. It's just it's out there in the forest. Look, it looks like it's looking for something. Very well. You can certainly look into that as well. Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure if it will be in any use of you, but I would hate for it to get to you. What'd you say? Oh, no, Bill said something, and I said no one can hear him. But that's no, I was laughing because I muted myself, and I'm not in this. <laughs> All right. Well, Lehman will uh, finish his ale and look to the others. Well, if uh, you have the time, I believe we should begin. Hmm. If you're late, go ahead and speak to the, uh, to the others. Knowing that you're from Rhymeholm and seeing as you could probably help, they might be a little more open to you than to me. You wouldn't happen to have a town guard or a militia or anything? Uh, all the men you see here, we are the militia. I don't know what that crazy fucker in the corner story is. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well. Just wondering what the defenses were like for you guys here in town. He shakes his head. Not much, to be perfectly honest. We used to have a lot more men, but they all died trying to hunt the beast. It doesn't come into the town, though. That stays by the forest. Barge is just going to look at him. Does it only come out at night? Any time of day. Okay. Time of day, okay. Just I mean, curious. I'm trying to figure out the, the creature's better. habits. It, it seems to always sense whenever you enter the forest. Like it's its home. <sighs> All right. I see Bill dropped his character token. Yeah, Ignore see the giant in the corner. <laughs> I am yeah. currently trying to figure out if I had a token or not. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have an actual token yet. Uh, I'll I'll fix that uh, later. Uh, I, send can me... make, I can make one. Okay. Cool. If you send me the picture, I'll make you one. Okay. I've already got the program up and ready, so it wouldn't take yeah. me long. Um, as you guys are talking, um, this woman comes up, um, pats um, him on the shoulder and whispers in his ear. Uh, he seems to nod as if understanding something. I have some business I need to attend to. Um, I hope that you find whatever you need. Uh, if you need me for anything, just come to my home and I'll be sure to help. Uh, one last thing. You wouldn't happen to have room for uh, us to stay in? Yes, of course. You know, uh, he, help a fellow he, guard coming out? Yeah, he looks behind him, takes a key off, and has to you. you know, hand, hand shaking as he's handing it to you. Are you okay? Uh, yes, I'm fine. And uh, with that, uh, he and the woman depart. So, what do you guys do? Uh, what time of day is it? What time of day? It's almost, it's dusk. Uh, which way did they depart? They they left out the tavern. Okay. Hmm. We know what I'm doing. Put up. Time to go to the edge of the forest. Okay. I'm just going to look to Farzor. So, what did you find out from talking to our ranger friend? Arja pulls out his notes. Uh, he's the only hunter. Uh, the beast doesn't enter town, but we already heard that from the other gentleman as well. Uh, it's as big as a house. It has a pack of. It's a pack animal, and it seems like to be the alpha. But it has wolves around it that don't feel like wolves. So you know, changelings, those sort of things. People that can change their appearances. Um, it's vicious because he's going to lose his leg here soon. The town's going to lo lose provisions by winter. So, unless we help them more in one way, my good friend, we're not going to know about this settlement come spring. Anything else? Mm, did I skip anything? Mm, no, that's pretty much it. Uh, he did mention that it smelled awful. Yeah. Uh, it smelled like death, from what yeah, I heard. Yeah. Like, yeah, it smells like death as well. 
Hey, you did bring up something about Gerald out of character, but. Yeah, he did also mention that he suspects Gerald is something. Oh, he just, yeah, 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 yeah. He, he just seems suspicious. And he's, and he's going to be like, and Gerald decides to leave the settlement at night. So, we know me. I'm going to go find me a nice high tree. And uh, if you need me, I'll be over at the way we came in. Okay. Uh, sounds like we have our course of action, then. Just everyone that by and two gets a good night rest, and we'll begin in the morning. All right. Uh, with that 22. said, wow, that, oh, okay, that's right, you have advantage. Um, with that said, uh, Logan. Yes. Can you come down to private chat, please? Yes. We. <laughs> oh, boy. Please inform me, does this sound like ass? What sound like ass? My voice. No, your voice sounds like ass, ass, but. No. Logan! I'm done with private chat. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> uh, man. I don't know if my voice really changes much when I try to do Lehman. Like a uh, voice for Lehman. A little more bass. Just a, a little, little bit. bit. More bass. Yeah, you okay. drop, that's, you, that's all I was trying to do is put a little bit more bass into you, his voice. You drop it down a couple of knocks, and then besides that, it's right on key. All right. Well... <clears throat> As long as you guys are willing to share, I got us a room. If we, like, we, we, we all got offered rooms. I thought he only handed me a key. You were the only one that asked for the key right then. Eh, fair enough. Farge would be like, I'm sleeping in a tree. Farge is going to go do Farge things. Uh, no, it's going to be like, I'll just, you know sleep in Lehman's room. Far Farsha does look up a note. No, you never told us what the new steed's name was. I haven't thought of one. Oh, very Bubbles. well. Bubbles. Shut up. No, it's not Bubbles. That's stupid. I ride, I ride my mighty steed Bubbles. I, I take this guy seriously, but he's kicking our ass. But I can't take it seriously, <laughs> but he's kicking our ass. I shut <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Farger just sits over in the corner eating his blueberries. This has become a thing for Farger. Where do you get the blueberries? I know, I'm so happy you caught that. So now I've made it a thing. Yes. Yep. And then when Z caught it on with Farge, I was like, yep, that's going to be a thing. We haven't eaten weeks. I've got blueberries. What are y'all talking about? <laughs> Plot twist, he has a, ma a bag of holding just full of blueberries. Nope. No, they're just berries that I've miraculously just kept pulling out. Mm -mm, I don't have good berry. I don't have the good berry spell. I get it. I just didn't take it. Uh, 10, 15, 20. Give me a second. And 17. All right. So, uh, all of you hear this blood curdling scream as um, a woman purposely like, screams for her life outside of the tavern. And you see a lot of people pipe up, like, what the fuck was that? Leslie bolts out the fucking door. I'm already at the door. <laughs> Try to get outside. <laughs> and I'm stealth. Okay. Look, looks like... Look, look, 
<laughs> Looks like the, uh, the beast decided to come into town, finally. That's, that's good. We'll, we'll hunt the beast here. So, you see this giant of a man in big metal armor. Probably, I, I, how tall are you? Uh, I am eight foot tall. Jesus eight feet tall. This eight and foot I weigh tall, 700 pounds. 700 pound gray man in oh, heavy Bruce. battle armor just walks into town. Okay, I'm there. And Child of Honor! <laughs> at last, the All-Father has led me to you. Pointing directly at Logan, um, Russ. Farz is going to be like, friend of yours? Lehman's going to look, look at Farz. I have never seen this man in my life. Well, he's here for you, <laughs> so... You forget to pay come. someone? I You're come at the behest. Oh shit! Jesus! <laughs> Stalking towards you guys. I come at the behest. This guy, this guy runs up. All, this guy runs up. He drops on one knee, planting his gavel or his glaive in the ground. And I'm just here to looking. serve. So, Logan, Logan, I'm guessing a twelve does not hit you. No, 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 no kind of looks down at the yeah. guy, like, uh, and then looks around. Uh, what? Did that dude just so, attack me? He ignores yeah. me. He, he brings <clears throat> up, like, a, a sickle and tries to hit it, but it pings off against your armor. He goes, like, wailing back. Or do you, you mind if I do something real quick? Sure. Okay. Uh, she's gonna, uh, Leslie's gonna see this and, you know, yell out to that guy to s desist, you know, stop. But you know, try try to be intimidating. Uh, 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 <laughs> oh, he's already gone. Like you didn't even have to roll anything. Oh. He, he takes this woman and they go inside. All right, what were you saying, Bill? Yeah, please, Bill. Uh, go where on. was I at? Be haste. Yeah, be haste. I come at the behest of the behest. old father. I have seen you in a vision given to me by the all-seeing one himself. I am here to serve you. And make sure that you arrive at your preordained destiny. <laughs> Parsh is gonna, Parsh is gonna be looking at Lehman like, you have a preordained destiny. Look at Lehman's you. Go, he, go, he goes, this guy a LARPer? Like, <laughs> no, Lehman, <laughs> just he's like, he looks very confused. You're telling me that Odin sent you? Yes, the All Father himself. I, I'm going to roll insight. <laughs> Hell, I'm going to roll insight on this one. I want to as well. I'm going to roll a religion. Oh, please tell me what I get with that whopping fucking 25. He's, he's telling the truth, at least in his mind. Farge is going to pull up, to, go up to Lehman and be like, you might be a little crazy, but the dude's fucking huge and he's saying he follows for Odin. What can be wrong with that? Let's, I don't know, not piss him off. He stands yes. up. From here until you reach your destiny, I shall fight beside you. Yeah, God, Into the man. mouth of... Fuck. See, what? I imagine you're just side-eyeing Bill so hard right now. I'm what? You're just side-eyeing <laughs> him super hard. No, he's in his room. Oh. <laughs> What's, uh... Fuck, I can't remember. What's Norse hell? Oh, it's just hell. Yeah, hell. Yeah. Um, into the mouths of hell if necessary. Layman's <laughs> going to look at him. Well, I, There's tears I don't in suppose I can say no to you offering your service in our cause. I you don't think. suppose you could. <laughs> That's going to lean over to Lehman. This guy's good. Layman's going to hold out his, his arm. <laughs> you are more than welcome to do so. What do we call you? You can call me Logan. All right. And he'll grab your, he'll grapple your arm, probably taking up your entire arm. Before I fucking forget, Elsa, remember you have inspiration. Bill, go ahead and take inspiration. <laughs> All right. What does that give me? You can yeah, reroll on ED twenty. Oh my god, that was so great. Parsers is going to lean up to fuck it. While they're shaking hands, he's just going to lean up to Lehman and whisper in his ear. He might be able to beat you with his dick, so be careful. 
<laughs> Lehman's got to look it up farther. You know what they good. say, the bigger they all are, the smaller the dick. I wouldn't say that. Yeah, Lehman's just Space Marine look. don't have penises. <laughs> <laughs> it's a weakness. <laughs> Or is it a strength? Because I could hit you in the balls all day. God. I... Okay. All That's right. why we're caught pieces. Okay. That's how that you introduce happens. a motherfucking character. Oh, uh, yep. that happens. So Leslie yeah, sticks out her hand when she like all his. <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck? So I just like derailed everyone's train of thought for all the good Bill. Well, everyone's just like looking at the scene. It's like, what do we do? <laughs> like, do we attack or? He gave me the option to do this outside of the village. Naturally, I'm doing this inside of the village. I gave so, Lehman's going to, um, you know, after they get done shaking hands, he's actually going to look at Logan and be like, and what does it the All Father has preordained my destiny to even be? That is not for me to disclose. I am merely the servant to protect <coughs> you until you arrive. Well, oh. praise be to the Allfather. Leslie's going to stick out her hand. Well, we might be fighting a demon, so want to join in? Aha! Yes, of <laughs> course! <laughs> You do realize that right? you must up. be rooted out at the start. I hate you! No, stop! Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey. Uh, Leslie's a tiefling. She looks like a demon. <laughs> okay. I'm um, I'm pretty sure he his character knows what a tiefling is. I don't yeah, know. I don't well, know. A lot of people <laughs> don't. I don't know if you want to bring that up, Elsa. It looks like he <laughs> might just fucking destroy you right now. He might like, smile. Oh, call you're yourself. a demon? Okay, attack twice, divine smite. <laughs> Just tell me you're a goat person. I'm not very smart. <laughs> no, she'll tell you exactly what she is. He he, he dump stat at everything. <laughs> oh, but she is, you know, know, she is holding her hand out to shake yours. He'll shake your hand. Any mm. follower of the Son of Anna is a friend of mine. No, looks at his hand and looks at his, the other guy's hand like, I don't want you to crush my hand, so just welcome. <laughs> He's got a surprisingly light handshake. I... Quite dexterous for a man who weighs almost a ton. Or half I, a ton. I do not know what to say. <laughs> I like that oh. your introduction turned to an inspiration. No, yeah. it's going to look at the guy. You could have all my ale from now on. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. So that happened. Hey, you uh, do drink, right? <laughs> of course. <laughs> One of the many gifts the Allfather has granted us. Wait, when Leslie asks if he drinks, Lehman's <laughs> gonna look at her like she's stupid. Like, like this man is clearly a warrior. Of course he drinks. Hey, no offense, but this guy's a warrior and he doesn't. She, you know, gestures the note. No, I don't no have Leo, to. <laughs> gonna just be like, he's a metal man. He I'm doesn't have that. a liver. Wait, you mean that's not armor? No, that's not armor. Farger's just gonna hear him and be like, I'm going to the forest. <laughs> okay, Farger. Uh, I'm having an extra special spell, moment. So I'm gonna take that. How do I <laughs> add my, um... How do I add my... No. Inspiration? Well, how do you add that? I don't even know. Uh, oh, it's so at the top above... of your sheet, it says inspiration. You literally click it, and it's there. Yep. Oh. Okay, and the it... second thing is, Elsa sent me the uh, icon, the token. How I do I me. copy that? And put that I in? Uh, we'll we'll, we'll, we'll well. do that. We'll do that after the session. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, for now, if you just drag your character sheet, like, you're going to be a square, but I'll be fine. Um, I'm with... okay with being a square. In the <laughs> eyes of the Allfather. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so what do you guys do? Farcher goes out to the forest. I do Farcher uh, things. I go off to the forest. You yep, you do Farcher. Uh, Lehman's going to look to Logan. We have plans to set off in the morning after the beast that haunts this village. For now, we travel here and we are looking to rest before we pursue our goals. I serve at your will. <laughs> it's just like, look. Let's like look at them, then um, I guess take a night of rest and we'll convene in the morning. 
Very good. He'll go into the tavern. Can his ass As he rips like, the door shit. off. <laughs> oh, sorry about your door. D does his do his lats fit through the door? Probably not. It's a tight squeeze, but he fits. He fits. He has to turn like sideways. Probably have to squat down a little bit. Jesus. Leslie shrugs after he goes inside. I like him. Jesus Christ. All right. So, uh, Farger, you're looking out. Uh, does anybody else do anything during the night? Light drinking. Uh, soundly. Sleep. I am Sorry? sleeping in the tree with alarm. I okay. sleep soundly. <laughs> you cast alarm? Drink. Yes, I did. Here, I will do it. Uh, Give me one alarm second. Alarm is only in an area, right? Yep, so it'd be right in the area that I'm sleeping around. Okay. There you go. Okay. Uh, your alarm does not go off during the night. Okay. Sound sleeping okay. Anybody else doing anything else except for sleeping and drinking? No, uh, really. Yeah. I'll be drinking. Um, okay. attempting to find the ale of the muses. Jesus Christ. Uh, you I get don't. Me. Uh, <laughs> all right. So morning comes. And Farcher, you didn't notice anything during your watch. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Um, what the hell? Who left? No. Whoops. <laughs> All right. I'm still trying to be like, what the fuck happened? Um, okay. Let me see. Uh, so as you guys wake up, um, the... See, Murin is back. Boop. Wait, no. Boop. Pops into existence. Um, let's see. Uh, so uh, one of the villagers comes up to you, a woman does. Uh, notices you sleeping in the tree and just as you're waking up. Uh, she comes up to you like really wide-eyed. Okay. Yeah. You were, you were, you were watching the forest, right? Off and on, yes. Did, did you see anything? Nothing out of the normal that I could say. Why? Has something that happened? She nods. What is it, madam? Please be haste. Uh, she she walk she looks like she's walking away as if she wants you to follow her. Roger gets down. The bow's still out, so he's gonna follow her. Trap? Is that a trap I smell? Oh yeah. Where's that in relax for? Um not a trap. Why does everyone always think she, it's a trap? She she leads you over to the well that's by the inn. Um Okay. And she just points at it. She doesn't even look at it. She looks like she's about to be sick. Oh that's a big well, so we definitely know Gerald's fat ass gonna get down there. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um do you look? Yes. Rawr, it's a monster! <laughs> <laughs> a giant tentacle comes up and grabs you by the neck and pulls you down. Uh, <laughs> well, you need me to roll. You don't need to roll anything. You see it. Uh, okay. So you look down and you see hanging by the neck by a noose um, one of the villagers that you recognize. Um, his arms are amputated. His legs are cut off at the knee. And all the skin around his jaw has been... Lead. Arj is gonna look at it and be like, "Are you the only one who's seen this so far?" She nods. He's going. He goes, "Get a fire ready." Uh, she looks like she's going probably inside, probably to tell, uh, to collect firewood. Yeah, and so but you think Farge that they don't really have enough wood to burn a body, though. Yeah, Farj is going back and tell my my comrades, I I seek. Council. She can only do one or the other. <laughs> tell, her my, tell her to go get my people. Tell her to go get the party. All right. Uh, your people, call my people. Yeah. All right. Uh, Lima, note in Leslie. Uh, you see one of the women walk in. She looks like she's in, you know, really bad distress. 
Um, and she informs you that uh, the elf wants to, wants to speak with you. She doesn't know your name. Yeah, I know. Uh, Layman's going to nod to the woman before looking to the other two. Well, it seems we're going to have an early morning, and he's going to shout, Okay! We have work to attend to. Good. These puny stools are breaking by the dozen. Jesus. Fuck. He drops Jesus a couple Christ. gold coins on the counter for your troubles. Buy stronger stools. Uh huh. Um, anyways, <laughs> you guys, you guys walk out. Uh, Passing yeah. a clutter of piled chair legs. Let's see. Where, that where's this well at? There. Over here. <laughs> yep, it's right by the inn. Uh, I'm not in the well. So yeah, everyone kind of clears out of your way, uh, giving you space to work. But yeah, you guys all see the same thing that Farger did. Note looks in. Huh, that's a dead body. Farger goes, yep, and I'm about to pull it out. So Lena looks down the well. Uh, correction note, that's about 80% of a body. <laughs> My bad. Uh, yeah, you pull it out. Yeah, pull uh, it definitely out. does look like one of the villagers that you saw the other day. Uh... Want me to burn it? Um, go ahead and make me an insight check. Got it. Everyone? Oh, yeah, everyone. <laughs> All right. So everyone. So yeah. Uh, Farger, Lehman. Uh, anyone who gets a uh, fifteen or above, this is probably their only water supply. I have something for this. I think I do. And the fact that dead body has been dripping blood and guts and stuff like that into it has definitely tainted it. Leon's going to look uh, to uh, Logan. Logan, you don't perhaps know anything about uh, medicine? I am no doctor. I am a warrior of the gods. Never thought this would come in handy. Okay. Oh, shit. Can clutch Clutcherson over here? Uh for your poison and disease. Uh you're gonna have to cast it a few times. But yeah, definitely. Yeah. You're, I'll say it takes two spell slots in order okay. to purify the entire well. And he can cast it as a ritual, right? Yeah. Not a ranger. Rangers don't rangers. Get cast it. Yeah, we don't get ritual oh, okay, casting. Nope. Oh, okay, never mind. You said I could two spell totally slots? cast purify water, but yeah, it'll, it'll take a couple of castings to purify the well. But yeah, you definitely can do it. Fuck it, I'll do it for the village so they'll have fresh water. All right, uh, you can go ahead and take a point of inspiration for that, by the way. Okie dokie. Lehman is going to look over. He's going to try to like look over the body and see if he can tell what kind of weapons made the most. <laughs> uh, yeah, go ahead and make an investigation. Oh, okay. Wow. Could have been anything. Uh, it does look like now nah, you can't even tell like what did it. Yeah, you're not sure if it was a blade or something tore it off. Uh, Leslie, as you're looking up at the body, you have a bit more uh, expertise in this being um on the war front and stuff like that. Um, this was definitely made by some sort of serrated blade, like, like me. Like maybe a bone saw or a knife or something like that. Definitely wasn't a conventional. Or a butcher's weapon. blade. That's what I was about to say. Or a butcher's blade. Uh, butcher blade wouldn't be. Butcher blades aren't serrated. serrated. They're pretty straight edge. Maybe if you were, you know, a hell do a hell butcher. Mm. Regardless, so basically, it kind of looks like an orc weapon. Did this? Uh... I mean. No, to an like I mean to an extent I guess, but it's definitely some kind of like maybe like a bone saw maybe. Yeah. Um, as you're looking at it, uh, it was probably post mortem. Well, at least they didn't take his limbs before he died. Mm. Lehman's going to sigh. This doesn't bode well. Or is this going to look at Lehman? We got a long hunting day ahead of us. Um, as you're looking at the body, by the way, go ahead and make me medicine checks. There's one more thing that you probably want to see. Oh, let's see what I got in medicine. Wow, nope. Is that 20? 
All right. No, as Would you're looking at the Arcana, be a good substitute or? Uh, no, it will definitely be medicine. Okay. Uh, okay. So, uh, no, and Leslie, as you're looking, as you're looking around his uh, skinless jaw and cheeks and stuff like that, it looks like something ate it. Yum. Leslie, and, Leslie gets a very disgusted look on her face. And no, you know that that was during when he was alive. Someone ate him alive, or something ate him alive. Well, something got a good meal while he was still alive. He was alive? Uh-huh. Oh, yep. Leslie says uh, a little military prayer, I guess. You know, like a superstitious one. This guy definitely didn't, you know, die quick and painless. You want me to send him off with the fire? I feel that would be appropriate. Uh, Lehman looks to Logan. Well, Logan, you've been on this island longer than us. Have you noticed anything else besides this beast the villagers report to us? I've been preoccupied searching for yourself, though I have also noticed the beast of which you speak. A foul red wolf. I have not had the chance to hunt it myself, but I gladly look forward to the adventure. Well, that, that's the plan for today. Archer? Tally ho! Tally ho with what for? Tally ho! Quite, quite. Uh. All right, so you guys go into the forest. Good up uh, at this point, because I'm in hunting mode. Oh, hey. Leslie cast her first spell with the group just now. Hey, first spell. Um, yep. All right. RP, so. so we don't know if it hit anything. <laughs> no, I mean, she's casting it on the body, right? Yeah. Um, so... With that said, what are you guys looking for? I'm looking for tracks of tracks? abnormal okay. size. Abnormal size tracks. Okay. Yep. Anybody else? Keeping uh, the general eye out. All of the people who specialize in hitting things are following the ranger. Okay. And everything uh, that's specializes in finding things is the ranger. <laughs> and I guess okay. I'm in the back then, since I specialize in blasting things. All right. Is anybody <laughs> assisting him? Oh, okay. Uh, Farge, go ahead and be surround check with advantage. I loom 11. next to Russ. Or 11. Okay. Uh, so Farger, as you're trying to uh, uh, look at tracks and stuff like that, you don't see a lot. Uh, definitely not any that are abnormally large. However, you do see a big congregation of what to be wolf tracks and they're going off as you're. So Farge is going to look at the group. The hunter back in the thing said it had wolf companions, so um, we might be on the right track. So oh. see a wolf and blast it? I wouldn't say blast it right out of the pants right there. Can we at least try to get more, inf more information before we just start shooting things? This is why I asked. This is why I'm saying. So I'm following the wolf tracks. And okay. We are all following the ranger. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, you follow the wolf tracks. It takes you a little Shiver. bit, because uh, it's going deeper and deeper into the forest, into more uncharted territory. Um, go ahead and make me a survival check, so you can keep track of the tracks. Okay. Uh, with advantage, I imagine Lehman's also assisting you again. Never mind, oh, yeah. I don't need it. Um, so yeah, you keep an eye on the tracks, and it seems to come out into a clearing. Uh, let's see, if you got to see here. Do, do, do. Wow, did I actually not put that? Okay, give me a second, guys. I'm stupid. Uh, oh, we need that. I didn't put on... Yeah, I did put the map down. Okay, uh, well, while you're doing that, I, I'm going to take the phone call. Okay, cool. Uh, actually, this seems this is a pretty good place just to do, like, a five-minute break if you guys want to. Alrighty. Yeah, that sounds okay. good. Yeah, cool. bam, 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 bam.
Toughness. Cool. Toughness. Okay. Cool. Well, I got a new follower and it didn't even pop up who it was. Aww. The weird thing is, it's not showing any viewers on my restream. I beg to differ, sir. You set a personal fucking record on uh, Starfinder. I did Knight of the Order. All right. In that case, good. is everyone good? Yes, sir. Yeah. All right. We just made it to a big opening. Yep, this would be the big opening. Big opening. Okay. Um, Where do you want so character sheet or character? You follow. Tokens? So you follow the tracks down here in this valley. Uh, go ahead and put them up here, uh, top right. Top right. Yep, yep, yep. How come none of my shit will save? Because it won't yet. No. He's got to make it. He's got to do it to where it will save. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. Don't worry about it. And so dude, you and I, I, thought, I thought I was just crazy. Nah. Wow. So you and I have to keep constantly put our stuff in. That is also up there. I don't have a war horse on here, so he's gonna have to do it on the ground. Uh, let me go ahead and have this character sheet up. All right. So you guys make it down here into this valley, and all of a sudden the tracks just. Stop. When that happens, Lehman's going to look over to the Farger. Leslie doesn't notice and walks right into Lehman's back. Boom. Farger's going to be like, hmm, this is not, this is not right. What's going on? Hmm. Hence the reason I looked to you. I'm, I'm studying. I'm gonna look at these cliff faces and see if there's like paw tracks going up the side of them. Sure, go ahead and make me a perception check. Yes, James, I'm going to cast Divine Sense. Okay. Uh, you cast Divine Sense and you say it's within 60 feet. Let me see here. Uh, you don't sense anything. Uh, okay. However, Barger, with your perception check, you do notice that tracks do go up the cliff face. Yep. I'm gonna look back at Lehman. They climbed up the sides. Ambush, direct front. The fools will make it easy to destroy them. Lehman's gonna go back and go to one of his tried and true tricks. Uh, is there a rock around? Yeah. 
uh, <laughs> there are uh, several large boulders down here. I mean, like one he could like, pick up. Like a pebble, rock. or? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can just bend down and pick one. All right, he's going to pick up a rock and chuck it as hard as he can up to the towards the top of the cliff. Okay. Nothing happens. Ah, damn. Last time we did something like this, that worked. Eh, yeah, well. Can't win them all, can we? Well, I, I, I... Perhaps we need a bigger disturbance. I'm going to advance. What? Well, okay. Uh, and Lizzie kind of makes those no noises as he just walks away. Yeah, Farge's going to be like, he's a big dude. Wait, I think he can wait, handle wait, himself. He was going back to Leslie. Are you going <laughs> to stop him? I, 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 why do you think I didn't say anything after a moment? I was going to, but I don't think I'm so. just casually stomping my way down the trail. <laughs> Okay, you guys see a low gain, uh, you know, walk down there, nothing happens. <laughs> Continue on for a bit. Okay. Go Lovely. on five foot increments. Okay. Uh, actually, no, that's perfect. Uh, as you get right there, uh, low gain, make me a perception check, but with advantage because as far as we're pointing out the tracks. Okay. Ha! Jesus fucking Christ. Jeez. <laughs> oh, all right. Uh, he has to wear all the armor for protection. He wears it so he can figure out where things are at. Oh, it's on my right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So. Oh my god, I'm gonna jump off this cliff. I thought we were up, and that was down. No, oh, we're, it, we're down, up. and they're up. Yes. The, they are up. Uh, yeah, I, I said that oh. from what I meant. My bad. Uh, Damn, I, I wanted to jump up there. Never mind. I, so, I now am looking at this map completely differently. Never mind. He, he jumps up there, lands on the edge of the cliff. Ha ha, the whole mountain just crumbles. <laughs> Mounts. Uh, does a 14 hit you? I'm guessing not. No. This is solid. Definitely not. So he I'm puts his arm up and blocks. Ha oh ha, there you are, heathens. Oh boy. Does a 21 hit you? Yes. Uh, you take nine piercing damage as this thing bites into your leg. Go ahead and make me a strength saving throw. You guys are all seeing the giant ass wolves jump from the cliff and land right on Logan. Archer's just going whisper. Oh, wow. Oh. All right, Logan, this thing pulls you down to the snow. You are now prone. What does uh, Inspiration do, if I may ask? Inspiration lets you re-roll any d20. You can re-roll that save if you want. I definitely do. There's a All right, never mind. So as the hands of fate kind of just bend to your will, uh, the, you feel like this thing would pull you down into the snow, uh, but you kind of seal yourself and bring your leg back so that it doesn't get into you. Uh, however, this one does pounce down on you as well. Uh, a 12 does not hit you. Okay. No. Uh, this one is going to go ahead and go down here and is going to be initiative. Initiative. I'm, I just feel like those wolves just jump down here to die. Yeah. Like I said, they're making it easy to kill them. <laughs> How good your HP? All too easy. How good your HP pool? Uh, it's pretty good. 54. Uh, uh, well, never mind. All right. right. Mine, I got 34. I'm sorry. I have to find my initiative. There it is. You're fine. Ha! <laughs> no, I wasn't selected in my fucking character. God damn it. Redo. Alright, let me go ahead. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Enter in all of their HPs and... Boop. Barger. 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 I found our mounts! Oh, wait, hold on. I forgot to do note. That's right. We're going to try for that. <laughs> yeah. How bigger? How big are they? They are a large creatures. They are as big as you. Like, they come up to your chest. Okay. And they're on all fours. Yep. I count as large for trying to move things. So, what you're saying is we could ride one. I, yeah. Yeah, actually. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, my problem's solved. I couldn't take a horse because I was worried I'd kill it. <laughs> well, there was a thing that we had discussed. So, well, uh, we're gonna try to make Thunderwolf cavalry. Yeah, <laughs> Farger. Well, uh, let me see what, if I wanna. Uh, nope, because I've only got one of those left. So I'm just gonna go straight do what I do. So I'm not hunter's marking, and I'm gonna try to get this one right here. 
Okay. And 18 hits. Okay, well, that was with Dreaded Ambusher, so I get to reroll it. 16 uh, hit? No, I said 18 does hit. I know, so with Dreaded Ambusher, I get to roll another attack. Oh, okay, you're right. You're right. saying reroll. I was like, <laughs> yeah. wait. Uh, yeah, 16 does hit. So it takes Jesus, 23, 30, it takes 30 damage. Oh, fuck. Okay. Dreaded yeah, Ambusher so to 7. You fire off two shots, and you feel like you've got right next to this thing's heart. It howls in immense pain. It feels like it's already on its last leg, struggling to stand up. Which one was that? The one right uh, here, bud. right above you. Okay, cool. All right, anything else? Uh, Nope, I'm good right now. Okay, it is this guy's turn. He is going to go ahead and just bypass all of this. Um, let's see here. Uh, he's gonna get right here, and I'll say oh boy. that this will get both of you okay. a 10 foot. Um, I so you see this giant wolf, its maw opens, and this frost forms around its jowls as it fires off this cone of cold. Okay. Um, let's see. I yes. need dexterity saving throws, please. And that's for half damage? I, I fucked that's up. That's for half, yes. All right, I'm taking the full diddle. So you guys diddle. both take full, however, you have resistance. Uh, yeah, I have resistance. Uh, so it's going to be 12 damage to you, Farger, 6 damage for you, Leslie. Okay. All right, it is Note's turn. He is very <laughs> far away. However, he gets just enough, so he's going to go. Uh, real quick. Oop, yep. It attacked, so I want to do something. Uh, okay. I mean, it hit me. It hit me, right? So yeah, fair enough. Once a day, I can yep. let go. I know what you're doing. Ooh, twenty-two fire. All Dude. right, dex three, dex save throw. three, thirteen. It does make it, but it still takes eleven fire damage. Is it res is it vulnerable to fire? You don't know. It looks like it did damage at the very least. Uh, if it's resistant, the spell does the it goes through. Um, because I have... Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. Uh, alright. So, uh, Note walks up with the Sword of McLeod and his Warhammer. Um, Sword of McLeod's gonna go first. He misses. And Warhammer, he hits for three damage. Alright, it is this guy's turn. Logan is going to go ahead and try and bite your shoulder. Uh, let's see here. Uh, 23 hits you for 11 piercing damage. Go yes, ahead and sir. make me a strength saving throw, please. Okay. <clears throat> All right, you save. It tries to pull you down as it gets on its hind legs. However, you're just stronger than it is, and you stay up on your two feet. Um, as this happens, as it's biting down your jaw, it is your turn. All right, so I took 20 damage, so I'm at 30. <clears throat> All right, so for my first action, I'm going to lay on hands for all 20. Okay. Which brings me back up to 54. Okay, that's an action. Yep, and for my second action... Oh, you by the way... Actions? Oh, do I not? No, you do not. You have an action, a bonus action, a move action, and that's it. Okay. Um... The only time you get two actions is if, you, is if you're like a fighter and you have action surge. Um, or if you have um, extra attack and you take an attack, you can take an extra attack. That's about it. Okay. Um, yeah, no, that'll be it then. I'll just keep these guys distracted. By the way, just in case I forget again, I also have uh, pull arm mastery, which means whenever anybody moves into my... Ah, um, okay, so you could have taken a reaction against one of them. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, I'll leave that up to you to remember, but if I remember as well, I'll definitely bring it up. I'm just saying it to everybody, just so I remember. Gotcha, bud. All right. Uh, Lehman. All right. Well, I will come over here. All right. And he will get the swing swing. With the flanky. Swingy. A 24 hits for nine damage. Nine. Ooh, that's a crit. Let's get right. critical, Ooh, critical. Yeah. All right. So as you come up to this wolf, this thing is eyeing 
um, low game, very hungrily, but you managed to take the opportunity to come up behind it and just absolutely eviscerate its back. Um, it howls in pain. You see blood starting to spatter everywhere. and looks back at you and snarls. Uh, Leslie, it's your turn. Okay. Um, I'm going to smile a little maliciously as I point my finger at that uh, wolf that just, you know, breathed ice on me. And... Scorching Ray. Oh my god! And <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I got three, so... Roll all the damage! Oh my lord! And let me see. Uh, so that's 27... 35 damage, I'm not mistaken? <clears throat> uh, yeah, just give me a second. Um, uh, so one... I would actually like to empower it and re-roll... Uh, the first two that I rolled, the three, and the uh, three on the second one, if that's okay. Uh, yeah, sure thing. So uh, I spent two sorcery points, or is it just one? It's just one. Okay. I get to, I get to do two. I can do three, technically, okay, okay. but you don't it's based off your charisma. Else. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Uh, uh, the okay. one counts as a two. Okay, cool. Uh, so... so... The eight still stands, but Ten, I get plus three. Fourteen, more. twenty, twenty-four. Uh, you reroll that one, so that is twenty-five. So you actually uh, got a little bit less. Well, no, because okay. On. So the, any roll ones I roll count as two because of elemental adept with fire magic. Wait, hold on. What? You can treat any one right. on damage die as a two. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, uh, let me. Okay, so you rolled max damage on that one. So that's 12 plus 10, 22. Uh, plus 4, plus 2, so 28. 38 damage. Holy fuck. All right. Yep. So, <laughs> you guys see. Um, Leslie just coalesces fire in her hands and she fires off three rays, all of them just completely melting the snow all around you guys. Um, all three slam into the wolf. Its fur is completely scorched. However, it still stands. However, definitely a lot weaker than, uh, than what it once was. All right. Uh, I'm sorry. You want to move? Um, sure. Uh, <clears throat> Kind of get away from the whole. All right. It is this wolf's turn. It is actually going to go ahead and go right here. Lehman is going to go ahead and bite on you. Four. Uh, 16? On me? Yes. Uh, that misses, and I would like to use my repost. Okay. So a little superiority die after I roll the attack. Do I hit? Yes, you do. So it hits for six plus the superiority dice, so seven total. All right, so as this thing is lunging towards you, you sidestep out of the way and bring your sword up onto its neck and follow it through, through chopping its head off. It is dead. All right. Uh, it is this wolf's turn, and uh, its friend is right there, so Logan is its best target. Is going to go ahead and attack you, Logan. Uh, 23 hit used for 14 piercing damage. It bites into your arm, just completely crushing your armor. Um, go ahead and make me a strength saving throw. Okay. Uh, and James, I'll just ask you, or I'll, I'll change it afterwards, if you'll okay. let me. Uh, strength you said? Yes, sir. All right, you save. Once again, you just pull your arm away, able to resist its grasp. Fires your top of the order. It is your turn. Hey, it's back to me finally. Let me move. It's gonna let me move. I'm on row twenty. You moved on my screen. It's not moving on my screen. All right. Anyway, I'm gonna go for. Should have line of sight from where I'm trying to position myself. To go. All right. I'm trying to hit this one. Uh, which one? One to the left of low gain. Okay. Cool. For some reason, it's not wanting to work my way. Oops. You may have to reload. That's a crit. And since that hit... All right, both hit. Okay, so... So 18 and 
All right, so a and, total of 30 damage. And the five from Dreaded Ambusher. All right, so you back off from the Winter Wolf, leaving Note there to kind of, to try and kind of back it off as you back up. You lose two arrows at the same time at the wolf next to Logan, and both embed themselves into its eyes, and it falls over. Not moving. Okay. Uh, it is this thing's turn. Um, it is not particularly happy about anything out of the situation. Does it get its breath weapon back? It does. Um, let's see. It backs up a little bit. Kind of position itself to where it gets both. So it's going to go ahead and take an attack opportunity from Note. Let's see here. Do -do -do -do. I'm back. I'm back. Oh, you're back. Oh. Uh, I even you... said I'm back. Well, you said I'm back as I was pressing the button. Go ahead no, and no, roll no. damage. No, no, no. I said I was back like five minutes ago. No, he did. He did? Yeah, he did? Oh, shit. I didn't hear him. Uh, apparently, I'm the only one that heard him. I you're also, you're also probably all right. the best hearing out of all. So. <laughs> mm -hmm. So this thing, so you deal seven damage, no, as the wolf um, tries to escape your grasp. However, its maw opens up once more, um, and it is going to go ahead and actually back up one more time so it can get both you, note and you, Farger. Mm -hmm. um, let's see here. Uh, both of you guys make me dexterity saving throws, please. I'm yep. solid. Are you? Oh yeah, I got a twenty-two. Did you? Where? It didn't pop I'll up. Believe, no, it's real twenty slow. I'll believe you. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. So far as you take half, there's a twenty-two. As far as you take half, so you take nine points of cold damage. Note, you take the full nineteen. Um. As this happens, though, no. As you look up, as the frost sword of clears away from your face, it is your turn. So I'm going to rush here, so I get the advantage from Lehman. Yep. Yep. And I'm going to yell, have at thee! Oh, oh my god, why are you guys critting? Nice. You had, That's like the third crit! You had at me. that. Yeah, and the longsword did not roll, so there we go. Yep, there it is. Okay, uh, roll damage. Okay. And three, so that is what? 13, 16. All right, so note as you come in, you swing both your longsword and the sword of Vic load at the same time, completely eviscerating this thing's um, face. Um, you call off its snout, and as its um, head goes up in pain, you just jam the sword of Vic load, its blade big enough to just completely slice its neck open in one slice. Um, it is dead. Yes! <laughs> I've killed an ice wolf! <laughs> <laughs> Low game. There's only one more dire wolf left on the battlefield. It is your turn. Alright. I'm going to turn on it. And I will be casting Smite. Okay. Oh, and let me... Wait, Smite as in you do extra damage with the spell slot? Yep. You can't use that. Well, I mean... Hit. Well, I mean, uh, I imagine he'll use it when he hits. That's what, yeah. 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 No, I know. I just want to make sure so you didn't, you know. No, I'm not use just, it and then yeah. miss, right? Yeah. Oh, I don't mind if I use it. Where's my attack? There it is. I'll be attacking All right, him. A 19 hits because you have flanking. Yep, and I will cast my smite the now. Okay. Well, go ahead and roll damage first. So nine. I actually just kill this. Yeah, you just kill it. Um, oh, okay. So yeah, as this thing tries to turn on Lehman, um, you take the opportunity to just shove your glaive um, into its back and just jam it to where you um, get its heart and it stops moving and it is dead. Ah, good foul creature. And um, out in the distance, you guys hear the same... Um, tree shaking howl that you guys heard yesterday as you guys got on the island, and it's directly Leslie, ahead of you. Leslie takes a deep breath and then screams, "Come get some!" Nothing happens. I'm gonna shoot an arrow into note. It's a note. Yep. Oh, okay. For your uh, yep. thing. 
Um, okay, you just hit the <laughs> little healing. There you go, bud. Nine healing back. You lose that arrow, though. That's fine. Um, also, how many arrows did you shoot? Four. So five Four? with that one. Yep. Uh, okay, so obviously you lost that arrow. Go ahead and roll me a d100. Okay. Higher is better. Okay, you managed to recover one arrow. Cool. Thank you. Yep, yep. All right. So, do you guys press on? We do. Yes, we do. Yeah, sure. All uh, right. Let me go ahead and do this. Yeah. James, could Great Weapon Master be the feed I drop? Uh, let's go ahead and do that after the session because did you already subtract the points that you did for tough? Yes. Let's go ahead and do that after the session. Okay. Uh, but yes, you can. Um, let's see here. So let's go ahead. All right. So as you guys continue onward, you find the mouth of a cave. Um, there is old dried blood on what looks to be ice. Um, you guys come up from up top on the north and from inside. Uh, you can tell that that's where the roars are coming from. Well, I take it we're going to go down there and have some fun. Well, first thing I'm going to do is waff a fucking health potion. Yes, I will waff Let's see here. a potion as well. Um, were we able to get the skins of those dire wolves? Yeah, and uh, I want Note to have the head of the winter wolf. Nah, the, uh, I, want the skin. I want the skin. Or the skin. Okay, yeah, you can go ahead and... Well, skinning it will take some time. Um, I'll say that you can definitely do it after uh, this combat. What do you guys okay. have a little more time? Okay. I guess you're going to have to wash the smell of burnt fur out of it, though. Uh, let's see, let's see. Not really worried about that. <laughs> Coming out from the cave, you hear human screams. Um, you see blood covered all over him. Uh, you recognize his face. It's one of the old men from the tavern that you saw. And yeah, I remember you also that guy. see. You also see. Let me go ahead and get him as oh, well. Oh, the one we never talked to. The one you did not talk to. However, this guy you did talk to. He was the first face that you saw. Um, this man also comes out, his blood, his face just completely mashed in, um, claw marks all over him. Um, they seem to be panting as if they're running from something. Leland's going to look down at them. What are you doing out here? They, they, um, the old man looks up, look, looks up at you. Oh, wait, wait, we were out hunting, we're running out of food. Then that thing showed up. <clears throat> Can I roll insight? Sure, go ahead. Alright. <coughs> uh, you think he's half telling the truth, half lying? Same thing with you, Lehman? Uh, you mind if I shoot a firebolt, like, right here? <laughs> I'm lying. I'm just nearby, not enough to do damage or anything like that. Sure. Just intimidate him. Yeah, so and you then... fire off the firebolt. Yeah, quit lying to us. And why'd I hit that? I, I told you. Tell us nothing but trouble. I knew how as soon as I saw her walking in. Run not from your fate, puny one. This is not the way to Valhalla. What the hell? What the hell is he talking about? Turn and fight. A fight? What is he talking, talking about, about fighting? fighting? the fucking beast. <laughs> Uh, first note. Right. Chill, chill. To talk to him. Uh, <laughs> the uh, the fat guy. He uh, looks up at you. Uh, obviously scared shitless. Um, listen, we're not your enemy. The fuckers in there. Um. What's your roll for? <clears throat> My health potion. Ah, okay. So you quaff one. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna persuade them into joining us in this battle. What do you say? Uh give me a sec, I'm composing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and I'm mute composed. myself. I'm gonna mute myself just so that way <laughs> I don't chuckle. 
All right. Too late. <clears throat> if you are truly already dead, then fight like men and die on the field of battle so you can rise to the heavens and drink with the warriors of old. Join us now and fight this creature with the true lord. And I'm going to roll. Are we persuasion with disadvantage? That would have been a... 19 was the first That would have been a lot more inspiring if I could actually hear what you said, but... Yeah, yeah you rolled a five. Now. You had disadvantage. And they were like, fuck no. <laughs> eh, I wasn't expecting him to join. You have an inspiration. He's already he used, used it. Used it. Yeah, he used it. You use it so, so you get pulled they, down. They by kind of scramble um, on the ice, trying to get on the snow. Um, then you will dude. die worthless. All right. What? Oh, okay. Um, Wait, are you attacking them? them? No, I'm not going to kill them. I, I, that's what I thought too. As we get right around here, <laughs> I would have been okay with it though. Lehman, roll me perception. Now, if they attack Lehman, I will choke slam them. Okay, Lemon, you don't see this. Leslie, you roll me perception. perception. Sure. Holy shit! Okay, so you see Gerald as he's, as he's walking away. You see almost immediately his form starts to change. Um, his Fireball start right to the back. <laughs> well, you don't get a reaction. Um, yeah. <laughs> his, his bone starts to crack and he starts to get larger and hairier. Um, same thing with the old man in front of him. Um, you start to see the reforms are replaced with uh, giant werewolves. <clears throat> they are large. And Gerald tries to swipe at you with one of his claws, but you sidestep just out of the way just in time. Who, me? Yes, you. He tried to okay. attack you. Um, I now I now understand the disadvantage. That would have been truly amazing if I convinced them to tag the origin. <laughs> it wasn't it wasn't happening. <laughs> so they're uh, werewolves? They are yeah. werewolves. Hey look, have at thee! <laughs> Roll me initiative again. Yes, sir. God, this fucking server is sucking ass right now. Yeah, roll twenty is not the best. I'm talking about Discord. Wow. I got oh, is it? I got the same roll I got last time. Oh, well, that's all five on two. Teehee. Um, as he does, you hear the uh the werewolf that was Gerald. Uh, he says in your face, his breath smelling like acid. Uh, he says, "No one will leave the island." But we came through the forest. You watched us. <laughs> It says no one is leaving the island. <laughs> Farger, your turn. Yep, Farger's going to give him a better line of sight. Okay. Boom. And then, as a bonus action, Hunter's Mark on that one. All right. And then, uh, oh, are these considered humanoids? Uh, no, actually. Unfortunate. <laughs> okay, does that hit? Woo, yeah, it does. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and... Does that one hit? Yeah, it does. Okay, so they get 12, 8, and another 8. So... so you fire off two arrows, and immediately both arrows hit right where its heart is. Uh, since this is magical, it doesn't resist, and it falls back on its back, cracking the ice, unmoving. Or just going to be like... We're not leaving what? Good shot, Archer! These weaklings! <laughs> uh, this one is coming like after field. you, Lehman. Okay. Here. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that is unacceptable. This is... <laughs> Woo! Crit miss. Repost. And, and 18? Okay, go on, repost first. That also missed. <laughs> Jesus, alright. <laughs> so, repost. Alright. Um, so I'm just going to click that, um, roll my attack. A 13 hits. So it gets that, so it gets 4, plus the superiority die, an additional 1. Thanks, okay. thanks D8, you fucking real help. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie, your turn. Alright, uh, I point my finger at the other one. one all right. two, three. Jesus Christ, <laughs> stop this, they all hit. Oh, they all hit? 
Yes. All right. Let me just see what all I roll. No, it's it's dead. <laughs> yeah. Well, one of those ones was a two because you know. But yeah. Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah. Could it have just fired. caught on fire and just you yeah, know, it, burnt to it ash? It burns. It burns. Like, <laughs> he layman. falls to the ground. And even after you feel if like you're you talking to me, I can't. Hear I know. You, so. That's why. I was you feel like even after the fire ship's gone out, he still continues to burn, and so all you see is bone and ash. Are we still in turn order, James? Uh, yes. Oh cool. boy. If you guys would like to go into the cave, that is. Yes. Uh, well, yeah. of course. Oh, yeah. I'm assuming. I'm going okay. into the cave. Um. Thank you, sure. Yeah. Leslie. Then turn, turn order. You know, dust off her finger, dust off her hands, gives a thumbs up to Farzar. Thanks for the, thanks for having my back there, Ranger. Of course. If nobody minds, I will be taking the lead. Oh. Well. Uh, in this environment, by all means, because I am not built for uh, front. No, line. we'll join him. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, as you guys. Um, walk in, you hear the snarl and cracking of bones and tearing of flesh deeper inside. Um, as you do, you see dried and also fresh blood on the floors of the cavern. Okay. With that, let me go ahead and research turn order. Farger, it's your turn. Um. Uh, where's the note? Where's uh, the turn order? I you guys not, not see it? Add my creed to my token i see the turn order it's just it don't have nothing up give me yeah we can't see the turn order uh because i because we keep the turn order by switch maps well i mean i can see it so i mean in this environment i would uh prefer to go last just for the sheer fact that i am in range fighter and close quarters is not what i'm built for okay cool i'm making your initiative four (laughs) thank you okay that's fine all right fine with where i go (laughs) leslie yes your turn I thought I killed the thing. Yeah, your turn. Oh, so I still get to move, I guess? Well, we're, we're are inside you guys the not... cave. Yeah, you guys are inside the cave. Okay. So you see this. I yeah, we're keeping Tormor. Into here. All right. As you do, you see um, pretty much an amalgamation of just a pile of corpses. Um, you see troll, a few, a few uh, what you probably assume to be villagers. Um, but also what you see, let me go ahead and bring the token. Uh, let's see here, let's see here, let's see here. Uh, there he is. Let's go ahead and copy. You see... A familiar face. However, his... Much like the, um... The man that you saw in the well, his arms and legs are ripped apart from his body. Uh, his face has been beaten. It's almost hard to recognize him. Uh, I don't think we killed the Gerald guy. I yell back to Lehman and them. Truly, this is the work of Fenrir. You yell back? I say back. God, this fucking server's connection. Is it just when I talk to him? No, it's like when it just keeps dropping down and then dropping back up, and it's always in the middle of someone saying something, and I get, like, half the story. Uh. She's saying that um, I that we she doesn't think we killed Gerald, the guy outside? That was his name, right? Gerald? Or was it Gerald? Uh, Gerald, yes. Gerald. Yeah. Who's up next, then? Do you mind if I roll? Uh, Real quick, me... do you mind if I roll Arcana? Sure. It could probably be a shapeshifter. The one that turns into a werewolf? You're not sure. Okay. Let me see here. Yep, there he is. Go ahead. Boop. Okay. Ah, uh, someone's yeah. on top. If I still have an action, I'd like to ready a firebolt. Boy. Hmm. Yeah, you have one. You hear, like, as soon as you start talking, you hear, Hurr, as if something, you know, has finally noticed your presence inside. Yeah. Partying a firebolt. Okay. Logan. Ah, yes, finally. Um, I will be casting Shield of Faith on myself and, and proceeding into oh. the black. 
proceeding into the black. Jesus Christ. And I want to say that over here you see slumped up against the cavern, much like uh, Gerald. Uh, let's see here. Uh, you see another familiar corpse. Let me see here. Let me go ahead and copy and come over here and paste. Much like Gerald, you see slumped on the cavern uh, this little old man that you never talked to and was probably just lonely and wanted someone to talk to. <laughs> Come out and face now. me, foul beast! Hiding will not spare you from your doom! Lehman. Your um, turn. I'm, I'm following my, my battle brother. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, that's so... That's goaded. No. Uh... I am going to follow as well. And when I get up to you, I'm be like, yeah, what he said! <laughs> Foul, <Foul-y. laughs> Lima, Lima will just shout in the cave, come face death! <laughs> I don't even know if it's gonna come up now. 24. Okay. Uh, you hear Archer from don't around... Say shit. What if, we just, <laughs> what if we just intimidated this thing until it just puddles in the cave and just never comes out? It's like, no, no, I'm good. You hear from around the corner this deep gun rule noise. The Yarl's pets. You will die like the rest. And you hear magic being cast. Um, oh boy. Let's see here. Wait, what? You hear, hear magic, magic being cast. You hear a language that none of you really know. Um, Wait. Is it infernal? Hold up. I'm gonna I wanna push mine in. I know common elven and giant. Uh it is none of those. That's wrong. You also know Shakespearean. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh let's Okay, see so none here. of us know it. Gotcha. No. Uh Wow, I'm such a noob. Sure. I have them all in different ones. <laughs> <laughs> I just noticed that. Oh wow. <laughs> Why is it giving them little death icons? What the fuck? Well, they know what's about to happen to it's them. It's some sort of weird, you know. Yeah, like I'm putting in HP and it has a little skull and crossbones. What the fuck? They're not dead yet. Yeah, right, it, it's go... apparent, you're apparently hitting um, a shortcut. Yeah, apparently. Oh, well, they know the ass kicking that's turn. about to come. <laughs> yeah. No. Yes. Nine does not hit you? Negative. Fight as one, brothers. 21? We shall fear no evil. On me? No, on Lehman. Yeah, that uh, would hit. Seven piercing damage and go and make me a strength saving throw. Oh my god, I will fuck this thing to death. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right. Right for Dom. Uh, low gain. 13 does not hit you. Uh, nope. From around the... From almost seemingly phasing through the wall... Uh, you can do your reaction to fire off a fireball if you want. Okay, yeah. Um, before uh, before it gets to me, so it's still out range. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, did they just move into my range? Fuck! Oh, oh, no. oh you can damn. go ahead and attack one. You can go ahead and attack one. Ah, oh, cool, cool. Uh, and eleven does not hit. Uh. Mm, okay. And eight That's... also does not hit Logan. Uh, I was debating on whether or not to use, you know. My inspiration. Uh, oh, Leslie, you get two attacks on you. Uh, this one's at regular. Uh, eight does not nope. hit you. This one is at advantage. Uh, crit for ten piercing. And strike saving throw. Ow, that hurts. I only see one thing in the turn order. Yeah, I do too. I, I, it's because I switched maps. You guys can't see yours. Uh, but these things are going on its turn. Ah, uh, okay. Well, uh, I'm prone. <laughs> Leslie, you are prone. Let's see here. Still a few more to go. This one's dashing. So it gets to right here. This one is also dashing. Oh, apparently they want to bite a piece of me off. And this one is going over here. It cannot get to you. It has full movement, but it will dash. All right. 
Leslie, your turn. Yay! Are these um, the size of regular wolves? Yes. Okay. Shit. All right. That being the case, uh, I am I'm going to stand up for half my movement. All right. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to move here. So I You're going get, to get like, three attacks opportunities on you. Three? I thought I got four. Where's the fourth one? One. There's nothing there. There's, it looks like there's a wolf there. Yeah, there's literally a wolf right there. Yeah, and then there's the three here. I have no idea. There, right okay, <laughs> on my screen there are three and there are three right here. Yeah. Two right here. And the, three right here. The two we right here. This one, one is right there. And oh. one. There is none there That's for us. That's so weird. What the fuck? I. Yeah. Uh. Yep. Weird. Yeah. We'll okay, now it's yeah. Time. You're, you're getting three. You're getting three. Okay. Okay. These are... Mm, I would say they're not at advantage since you're moving away. So one hits you. Four, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Not a single one of those are hitting me. Okay. All right. So as these things try and bite you, uh, a shield of arcane energy bounces them back. You're safe for now. Yep. That being the case, uh, that was a reaction spell. So, Alter Self, I'm giving myself... Uh, pff, I don't know. Let's go with Fangs. I'm going to bite them. Okay. <laughs> yep. And All right. lasts for how long? Concentration up to an hour. Up to an hour. So I'm just going to put a concentration symbol on me. All right. <laughs> I'm assuming if the, the only thing that's going to knock me out of it is if I lose concentration, right? Fair enough, yeah. Uh, low gain. Ah. Okay, it's your turn. All right. Shit, so there's one other thing I wanted to do. Ooh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Sorry. Uh, I'm okay. using this as a bonus action to create a third level spell slot. Okay, cool, cool. I might be slightly ignorant of this at this point, but I'm going to try it anyway. Just tell me if I'm wrong. All right. I am going to pick this thing up by its head. Okay, you're going to try and grapple it. Okay. Yes. Uh, yeah, so as you try and pick it up, yeah, you, you have it in your grasp easily. <laughs> okay, and um, is it like Pathfinder where I can do automatic damage when I grapple it? No. no. Okay. But you have advantage. I have an advantage. Is, however, grappling is, is your attack. attack. Yes. Is no, considered um, an attack, so if you have extra attack, then you can use your extra attack, but it is your action to grapple um okay um well this guy's gonna have a bad day you guys see me just pick up the wolf by the head <laughs> puny all right next turn all right lehman uh so the one that is grappled do i have advantage on that one yes i'll say so i'll hold it over to you <laughs> i'm gonna double swing it then all right Woo, 23 four eight Yeah, yeah, you cleave you cleave it in half. Oh, well, I'm swinging the battle axe at the one in front of me. I'm just holding well, the no, head. No, no, no. Your your second battle axe damage will be enough to cleave it in half. Oh, okay. I'm just holding the decapitated head of a Yeah, wolf. essentially, its guts are falling out. Like <laughs> I toss it to the side. All right. Who's next? Uh, Lehman, would you like to move? Uh, I would actually. All right. Get that advantage. Uh, you will get an attack of opportunity from this guy since you left its sphere of influence. A little okay. Bit. Okay. Uh, let's see. Eighteen. Eighteen misses. You know All what's right. coming. Repost. All right. Ah <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, that's not going to hit. I'm sorry. I can bull uh, rush with grappling five e. What? No, it is your turn. Alrighty, so the uh, let me see quick. Oh, I just should have commanded Logan to crush its skull. I was gonna do that next turn if nobody else. No, I, 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 I could have commanded comm using commanding strike. I could have told you to crush its skull, and you could have got extra damage to it. 
Alrighty, uh, I am going to um, attack the one in front of me. Okay. Oh, mm-hmm. shit, I was on talk to myself. God damn it. <laughs> oh, what'd you roll? I rolled a uh, 20 and a 17. Both hit. Okay, hold on. I will get off talk to myself to roll the damage for those. All right. Oh, yeah, this is dead. Uh, you can go ahead and direct the other attack at this one for eight damage. All right. All right, and then I'm going to mark it with my unwavering mark. Okay, fair enough. Uh, do you want to move it all? Uh, no. Okay. Farger. Boy, oh boy, what a pickle I have. Screw it. Uh-huh. I know I get attack, Rob. You get two. Okay. Uh, 22? Yep. And eight. All, all right. right, 22 hits you for eight damage. Go ahead and make a strength saving throw. Hey, give me one second. And then strength. Yes. Okay. All right. Yep. You managed to pull your leg out from this thing's jaws. Okay. You ready for this? No. <laughs> Go ahead. Yep. Okay. That's perfect. So... Hey, Perry's back. Yay. Hell of thorns. All right. I'm shooting at this fuck nut right here in the front. Okay. And boom. Killing. 26. 26 hits. Okay. 19. 19 hits. So it's taken five, uh, seven, an additional right. six. And it's then. Dead. Yes. And then all the ones around it is taking. Do they make a saving throw? Dex, dex they save? do make a dex saving throw. And the save is. Give me one second. All right. This is going to be top and bottom. So 11 and 21. So, 11 will not make the save. 21 will make the save. Okay. Slash R, 1, D, N. N. Uh, all right. So, the top one takes 10 damage. Yep. The bottom one takes 5. All right. Cool, cool. Uh, it is this thing's turn. Uh, hmm. I don't think it's going to come out of its darkness yet. Instead... Oliman, you feel something kind of overtake you. Your muscles start to stiffen. Your reflexes start to get slower. Make me a reflex save. Reflex? Oh, I'm sorry. Not reflex. Wisdom. Wow. Wow. I have three. I have four nat ones in a row. Oliman, as as you tr- as you reel back from the strike that you took against the wolf that you um, completely eviscerated, you can't move. You're under the effects of hold person. Hmm. And as this happens, Farger. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. One, two, mm-hmm. three, four. Mm-hmm. Four attacks on you. Mm-hmm. One uh, hit. Seven... Wow, all right. Uh, seven piercing make me a strength saving throw. Seven. And... All right, you make it. Uh, Lehman, this thing's going to attack you. Probably it's a no avail. I think it actually has to crit. That's an initiative. Okay. Uh, 15 does not hit you. 15 wouldn't hit. Leslie. Hmm. All right. Well, seeing he helped me, I want to come over here. And I want to chop down. Okay. You have advantage? Yep. Where is it? Natural weapon. Alright, 14 hits. For... It's not bludgeoning, it's piercing. Two damage. Alright. Anything else? Um, I'm going to use my bonus action to reshape it into claws. Alright. Just because cool, cool. I can. All right. As you bite down, it tastes awful, but <laughs> uh, low game. It tastes like meat, right? <laughs> I mean, like raw meat and blood, and yeah, not. I don't think that'd be too disgusting to her. 
a bit, uh, but not too. It's okay. Logan's turn. Can we go? Yep. I'm going to... Where is... Pick up this one. All right, let's see if you do. You do? Yes. Come, little pup. Let's see your master. Oh, even. Oh, shit. You're going into the darkness? Yes. And I'm going to cast Divine Sense, because I think that's a bonus action. There's something right in front of you. All right, good. You drag this with it. I'm carrying the pup, the dog. Yes, you are. Okay. <laughs> Just as long as we're aware of that. Welcome to my domain. Oh, God, that was crazy. That's the point. Uh, um, all right. Anything else? Oh, no. Uh, that's that's it for me. All right. Lehman, make me a wisdom saving throw. All right. You did not save. No. My turn? Yep. I'm going to follow in after. Okay. Oh, I was doing that so you guys could save. Uh, okay. You are on Logan space. Do you want to go one square left or one square right? Okay. Well, cool. Uh, I'll just put the wolf right here. It's in Logan space. Uh, all right. Larger. Are you not going to reveal anything oh. because nobody else? This is, is magical there? darkness. Ah. Very well then. Hmm. I have something for this. How far? How these oh, are going? How far? <laughs> Go ahead and roll hang, them. Hang on. Is, oh my god. I have a quick question. Sure. Is whole person a charm? No. I don't believe so. Let me double check. Uh, it does not say it is. Okay. No. It just says you're paralyzed. Uh, all right, Farger. Uh, pray. One, two, three, four. Uh, let me look. Nope. Nope. They yes, have yes. advantage. None of them were. Uh, well, two of them were flanking me, so. They have pack tactics. Well. One, uh, two and the crit. Okay. Just give me all the damage. All right. It's over 18, uh, so let me know. It's over 18. Yep, I'm down. Okay. Uh, what the fuck is this? I think I rolled initiative for the map. All right. Uh, Logan, you hear something stomp towards you. Uh, let's see here. Does a 23 hit you? Yes. You take 24 points of piercing. Yeah, fantastic. And let's see. Go ahead and make me a strength saving throw. All right. Can By the way, as... you, do, you do have stones endurance. As a reaction, can I hold this uh, animal in front of me? Mm, no, it's off to your side. Okay, that's fair. You don't even see this thing coming, so. Uh, okay. So as let me, what does Stones Endurance do? Uh, it, whenever you take damage, you can roll a D10 plus your player level, and you can subtract the damage from it. Okay, I will do that. It's a D12, and then add your Constitution modifier. Constitution modifier. Okay, I thought it was your player okay. level. Um, all right. Do, 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 do. All right, so as you get bit, um, you feel it bite hard into your shoulder. And as it does, it feels like its jaw gets larger and larger and larger. And it feels like you're inside of this thing. Yeah. You, you have been swallowed. Oh, boy. Leslie. Remember what happened last time someone got swallowed and went... I have learned from my mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Shit. Um, I'm gonna end up provoking. 
Did it swallow me with the animal? Yeah, the animal's dead. <laughs> <laughs> so you're provoking four attacks of opportunity? Yep. Okay. Uh, oh, no, I've done that. One, two, three. Make me three strength saving throws. Uh, how much damage is that real quick, though? Uh, seven, so 11, 19, 28 damage. 28? Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, so I guess I'm right here and down. Okay. I was coming to save you, Fartar. I wouldn't have done that. I wouldn't have done that either, but hey. <laughs> if it wasn't 20, if, okay, so... It's four attacks of opportunities. Yeah. But I was going to shield, and, you know, odds are they weren't going to get above 20 on both of them. However, yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, well, the dice. Uh, Logan, <laughs> you're yes. in a wet, acidy crevice. What do you do? Attack. Well, yeah. Let's see if I can get out Attack of, uh, the crevicey yes. walls. Okay. Uh, saving throws now. Or... Who's my um, first character? What should I be wielding? Two and a half years of playing. Uh, it's it's a very large creature. You can use your glaive. <laughs> okay, fantastic. Um, I'm. Hold on. Sorry. Ooh. Sorry. I believe in you, buddy. You can do this. Man, it's the dice for me. You gotta believe in the dice. Hope roll twenty doesn't fuck me later. What's happening, Logan? Okay, sorry. I was reading something. <laughs> um. Okay. I uh, will attack my way out. All right. It's my only recourse. Drop that smite too. If I hit, does an 18? An 18 does hit. All right. And I will be smiting. All right. Smite away. A oh, 21. That... Although you don't get to attack twice. <laughs> no, that, that was just supposed to be my damage roll. Okay. Six and... damage. And roll your smite. 12, 12 smite. damage. All right. So 18 so, damage all day. No. You see, I guess Lima as well. Uh, a bright light emerged from this thing's stomach. Uh, you, for a brief instant, see this. Mm. And then, as the light goes away, fading away. Ah, red monster. Um, as you look at this, its stomach is enlarged, its jaw is unhinged. Um, it's almost like a combination between a snake and a werewolf. Uh, with that said, though, Lehman. <sighs> Make me a wisdom saving throw. You save! You are unparalyzed, and you can move. Okay. You see below, Farger and Leslie are down on the ground, unconscious. I'm going to come over to this wolf. All right. Um, and I will make sure I, you know, don't... 24 hits. It is dead. Okay. <laughs> then I will step here. My last five feet of movement. All right. And the... And the one down there. Okay. Will get the battle axe. 18 hits. Nine is dead. And it's all I'm going to be able to do right now. All right. No, you know what this thing is. Actually, I'm I, swinging. Oh, oh sorry. action surge. You have action surge. I do have action surge. I was about to remember that. All right, go <laughs> ahead. <laughs> I'm um, an action star, so I get my action, my bonus <laughs> action back. I want to step here. All right. And I'm going to give Leslie a healing potion. Okay, that's going to be a bonus action. All right. Leslie, we're back at seven. So uh, you have one level of exhaustion. So you're back with seven, right, and I'm going to go over here. And get All right, you're going to get two attacks of opportunities. 
Uh, they've already done their tax opportunities. Oh, you're time. right. You're right. You're right. Yelling potion for Farger. All right, Farger, you're back at six. You are at one level of exhaustion. All right, and that's my turn. All right, Jesus. Farger, you awaken uh, bruises and cuts and uh, bite marks all across your body, but you are alive. What do you do? Uh, oh, come wait, on. wait, wait, what? Oh, I'm sorry. No, it was right. no. It I, was I, no. It was no turn. It was no turn. Yep. Uh, my own turn order. I accidentally skipped note. No, it's your turn. Uh, with that brief flash of light, you know that this thing is right in front of you. What do you do? Have at thee! All right, this you will be a disadvantage, it. though, because you cannot see it. Perfect. Not that and, matters. Okay. And then action surge to have at thee again. All right. A 19 hits, but a 13 does not, so you hit once. And then or I'm going to give it, uh, and then I'm marking it with unwavering mark. All right. Um, let's see. Low game. Um, as this happens, you feel this thing starting to... And it spits you out. Uh, no, you hear this wet noise appear right next to you, uh, you feel like Logan is outside of its maw. The Battle fool master. caught on to my ploy. Fight him from the inside. Farger. Well, you know what they say, if you can't beat him, join him. Uh, well, I rolled. That's a three. Yeah. Plus three. <laughs> Whopping nine health points. And these two wolves are still here? Yes, sir. Alright. I'm over. Oh, hunt this out. Oh, I took sharp. Oh, I took fucking sharpshooter. I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> All right. I'm going to shoot. Homeboy is closest to Leslie. All right. Nope. Ooh, unfortunately, uh, not one misses. Yeah, holy fuck, you had nine? Yeah. Jesus. Well, that's all I can do, because I didn't hit with the first shot. All right. This thing's turn. Uh, no. You're the one that made it throw up. It doesn't like you. Uh, let's see here. About to get a meal that's really high in iron content. A 24 hits, I assume? Yes. All what right. You take 29 points of piercing damage as it bites into your arm. Uh, make me a strength saving throw. Oh, a strength? Yes. Yep. All right. It tries to unhinge its jaw and try to swallow you, but you raise up both your arms and keep it from um, actually closing down your body. Uh, that's where you are for the time being. Leslie, it's your turn. Okay. Um, obviously, standing up, so 15 feet of move. Um, and I... Don't want to attack another. I don't want to provoke another attack. So let's. I'm gonna reach out and try to grab it. Uh, fourteen hits. Well, it does. All right. And with that, I'm going to move back here. All right. Easily do so. Low gain. Uh, uh, you're prone, but uh, you're easily able to stand back up. Uh, you feel like this thing is, once again, right in front of you. All right. As I stand, I'm going to cast Sacred Weapon, which gives me 20 uh, feet of brilliant light and 20 feet beyond that of dim light. All right. That will light up this entire area. You see it, uh, and it's full brilliance. Also, I gain plus one damage, and my uh, glaive is now magical. All right. Good, and it is grappled technically with me, so. Is it? Oh. What's this exhaustion thing we were talking about? Um, so, exa exhaustion, whenever you drop to zero hit points, I have a house rule where if you get healed up to at least one, you gain a point of exhaustion. Okay, and what was the turn surge thing? Uh, action surge is a fighter ability. Okay, never mind then. Continuing. All right. I'm done. I stood up and cast light, basically. 
Uh, divine weapon. Is that an action or a bonus action? That is an action. Oh, okay. Sacred uh, weapon. Okay, sacred weapon. Okay, uh, Lehman, your turn. Alright. There's only one more wolf. Yeah, I really don't care about that wolf. I want to get to my friends. All right. Well, thanks. <laughs> uh, it's going to go and take its attack opportunity on you. 20? Yeah, 20 would hit. Nine piercing beat me a strength saving throw? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first damage I've taken all session. Nice. All right. Um, and since Bill already did it, I don't have to worry about dropping fairy fire. So That's what, nice. I was at 45, yeah, so I can did. still keep moving and come out right over there. Sure thing. If you guys have advantage, please use it. <laughs> uh, nope. Uh, my turn? Yep. Uh, so I'm going to use my second wind. For five. All right. And, and then I'm going to hit it. Okay. With the old bop diddly. And 11 does not hit, unfortunately. I'm going to look at it and be like, curse you! It cracks its neck. Farger. Fear not the demon in the dark. Uh, I'm going to go for the stupid wolf in front of me. All right. Does it hit? It has one, it has one health. It's dead. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, it's mega dead. And I'm going to boop, 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 boop. All right. This thing, let's see, it has many targets. Uh, who have you hit? Lehman. All right. It rolls this attack at disadvantage. Okay. 19 does not hit you, I'm pretty sure. 19 would be my AC, but I can sacrifice my reaction to gain a plus one with a parrying stance, which I will All right. Do. So this thing is about to bite into you, but you raise up your arm just in time to kind of clock it in the jaw, um, reeling its head just far away enough from you to where it doesn't get your arm. You uh, like me a wheezy meal. I like it when prey fights. Leslie. I'll say you have sight. Sure, you're not gonna just... I mean, there's a giant mountain of a man in the way. <laughs> <coughs> you know, just appeared just underneath his legs. <laughs> I got a thigh gap. Hell yes. Okay. Uh, they all hit? Eight and eight. All right. Uh, despite your affinity with fire, you feel like the damage does not do as much as you thought it would. But it still does some. That's uh, a fireproofer. Uh, oh, that was toasty. Thank you. Logan. Logan. All right. Is it immune to fire? Yes. It's immune to fire, so I didn't do any damage to it. Okay. Well, uh, immunity, I'll drop it down to resist. If it's resistant, then I bypass it. And no, it uh, takes the full damage no. from if elemental it's in, No, because of your ability, it bypasses its immunity, and it's only resistant. Oh, okay. I see what you're doing there. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, I will smite thee. All right. Uh, with advantage. All right. <laughs> why do you have advantage? Oh, because oh yeah. Why do you have advantage? Flanking. Lehman. Where he's he, you're not. You're not diag flanking. Yeah, you're not diagonal. Diagonal. That thing's a big ass beast. <laughs> oh, we have to be like this. You have yeah, to be. Yeah. You have to be directly across. So you have what to if be I, like, What if I what if I shimmy down like here and then did it? You're in a wall. You're in a wall. Okay, that's fair enough. All right. You could hang on. You can move over there. 
and uh, going to take him tag out opportunity and get it with note. Yeah, you could. Am I moving out of its square? Nope. Okay, then I will do that. <laughs> uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're a big enough guy; you can shoulder check. A sixteen it on your way hit, anyways, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> okay. But you, got um, that, you got that twenty-five though, so. Yeah. Um, because so... a sixteen hit this turn doesn't mean the eleven he's going to roll next turn. Well, <laughs> fair enough. Fair I enough. also, since I have polearm master, I get to make an attack with the butt of my blade as well. The butt of okay. my blade. Okay. I'll be doing that. Uh, hits. 15. Okay, so that one just does a d4, but they both are plus one from my... Uh, yes. Yes, and then I will also smite. So... Uh, 11 damage from the glaive. 6 damage, so that's 17, and then my smite. 17. Uh... Um, 25 damage. All right. Uh, and just, it so is, you, just so you know, magical. in the future, when you hit with the butt of your glaive, it's only a d4, and it doesn't add your strength mod. Oh, did I? Oh, my bad. Um, you rolled a d10. Let, let me roll that now. My bad. Okay, and it's only a d4. You can also smite twice if you have enough spell slots. This is let true. Me... You get to smite for every hit that you make. Oh, you are right. Um, so yeah, I'll roll that d4 now. My mistake, two. Um, so what was it? Ten. Ten plus 11, eight. So that's eighteen. So you did twenty nine, damage so far. Nineteen. Uh, twenty-one damage. Twenty-one damage. Okay. Because the magical <laughs> and yeah, then I'll hit it with smite again because I've got one more smite in the day. Okay. So oh, another eight. Okay. Cool. Cool. Uh, with damage. that. And it's all magical. Yes. Lehman. All right. Um, if I can, whoa, move over here to get the advantage. And then I'll swing, swing. Okay. Uh, 12 does not hit, 21 does. 24 does? A 24, yeah, whatever. All right. Uh, that's non magical, right? Uh, battle no. axe. So no. you swipe at it with your battle axe, and it completely pings off of this thing's fur. Jesus Christ, it's Jason Bourne. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with that said, do you have anything else? Uh, no, that's all I can do. All right. Nope. Alrighty, so I really blew my uh, load on this guy, huh? I will. Uh, just diddle, just right. the diddle. Diddle, diddle. Where is it? Seventeen. Uh, and Seventeen diddle. hits. Eleven does not. And the sword is, of course, magical. magical. Yep. Uh, yeah, 11. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, Farger, your turn. Boy, oh boy. And boom. 23 hits. Boom. 20 hits. 6, 9, and 3. So 9 and 9, 18. All magical. All right. How much was it? 18? 18. Okay, cool, cool. All right, this thing uh, it is definitely a falling run. I have no idea what you're talking about, Bill. Uh, this thing kind of is uh, looking around, um, looking at the situation. Definitely looks like, it looks like it's at its last legs um, and starts chanting something. Uh, oh, right. You see, You see a... A uh, wall of magical energy appear um, next to it. And he looks at you. He says, <clears throat> I'll be back to finish my meal. But for now, remember the name Baron. Tell that to the fish. 
they'll soon perish. And everyone, uh, note Lehman and Logan make me reactions. He is leaving. Um, I'm going to grapple him. I will also yeah. grapple him. Okay, you guys can try. I will uh, attack him. Okay, 21 hits four. Fuck. I did not. Six, all right, that's not enough. Uh, let's see here. Oh, shit, you guys rolled high. He rolled a oh. seven. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, god. grappled. All right, so as he's about to leave, Logan and Lehman, you guys grab him by the arms and pull him back. You um, shall not escape your fate. Unable to move. Leslie. Oh my god, yes. Lehman, Lehman and anything. Logan are holding him in place. Clutch, clutch. You shall you're not on, escape you're on your mute. fate. You're on mute. You're on mute. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. 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 Okay, so I'm going to move over here. Unfortunately, I'm out of sorcery points, and I'm out of second level spell slots. However, I can magic missile. All right. So, Lehman and Logan, as you are holding this giant creature in place, Leslie, you fire off your magic missiles. How do you want to do this? Yes! Yes! <laughs> uh, let's see. I I want to shoot uh one through each eye and one through the skull right at the right at the nose. All right. So you let off these darts of energy. They fly off from your hand in a fitter. Um one hits its in, hits its in its eye. It lets off a scream. The other hits in its other eye. It lets off almost what's akin to a whimper. And as its mouth opens up to scream one last time, the last missile fires into its mouth, and its head explodes. Yes! James, that was one of the most epic ways I've ever finished a boss. <laughs> that was wonderful. This is the second one that has tried to escape, and we've killed. Yep. Uh, that was great. <laughs> Good right. shall always triumph over those that All are right. the dark. Wow. And I'm, I'm taking this thing's head off. But it doesn't have a head. It doesn't done that have for a you. head anymore. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll I'll say that like the missile went down its throat and exploded its neck. He can take its head. There you go. Oh my god. Oh, so the head head. I severed the head with an explosion. He severed the head with an explosion. Allow me, child of honor. I'll fucking carry it on my back. <laughs> the whole thing. The head. Oh. Okay. I count as large for carrying things. Uh -huh. I can carry yeah. a thousand pounds. Uh, all right. Basically a horse. Lehman will give the so, head to the game. Oh my uh, god. Character picture fulfilled. <laughs> so there's one thing I'd like to do before we leave. I mean, I guess technically everybody could leave without me, but I want to basically, you know, do like a, the whole soldier thing that I've been doing. Over the dead, uh -huh. and then blast them with fireballs, firebolts. Okay. Well, before you do that, fireballs. can we skin this creature? I'm not doing it to the creature. I'm doing it to his food. Oh, okay. To all the people who have gotcha. Okay, cool. Who have oh, been yeah, hurt there's, by it? There's quite a few corpses here. Um. So yeah, you and can I also skin it. Yeah. Okay. Skin it, and then I'm gonna skin um, the win the give the head of the winter wolf to note. All right, you have a night garm hide. Night Garm hide. Okay. James, what's the this is the Night Garm? Yes. I'll be carrying its head. Alright. Alright, Night Garm hide, got it. So, uh with your uh successful kill, uh you guys make it back to the um to the town with a seemingly Less amount of wolves and werewolves and giant wolf snake creatures running about. Oh, good. Oh, um, nice. Just to uh, expedite the process because it is getting late. Okay. Um, you guys go to the um, go to the tavern and tell the leader of the town, um, Kovar Murin, of your successful kill, and he thanks you profusely. 
Um, he apologizes that he doesn't have any gold to give you, but he will definitely um, hold you and your uh, group in very high regard. And if you ever need to come back to the, the Yoga Scala Mountains, you will always have a home here. Um, you wait out the rest, the rest of the two days until the boat comes back, of which you get on and you make the journey back to Ramholm. Um, and that is where we are going to go ahead and leave off. Uh, you guys will have okay. approximately a few days um, before the Jarl requests you. Okay. Um, um, can I pick up that? Can we pick up that sword? Yeah. Can I pick up? Yes, sword? you can. Let me go ahead and think of what it does, <laughs> and I will go ahead and tell you what it does next session. All right. Okay. And and we'll get the gold. I'm assuming any gold from the Jarl next session as well. Yes, you will. Okay. So, while we're still there after that fight, uh, you said we're there for two days, basically? Yeah, right? you're there for two, two days. Two nights? Yeah, two nights, two nights. Okay, so first one, Leslie's going to spend resting, and the second one, she's going to see if she can basically get, like, free booze to, you know, drink herself silly. Yeah, they... As a victory yeah, thing? Yeah, they, they give you free drinks, of course, free food. Huh, all right. Then, uh, Z, we'll, we'll RP cars are giving you the sword. Okay, we can do that. Yeah. Oh, uh, man. So, with that, that was probably the hardest boss fight I put you guys through. Um, I think we also ended that fight in the most epic fashion. Yeah. I think I carried more things than attacks made. I just picked things up. <laughs> I pick things up, I put them down. I, I pick just, things up, I put them down. I have to ask James this question. The fact that we pull that we held that guy there for the kill, did that like mess up the next session? No, no. It was, okay. it was like I, I completely expected you guys to kill it. It was more like if it got away, then it would show up later. Okay. Oh, okay. James, I got a question. Is it level up time? No. No, you guys just leveled up. Oh we did. Um, it's not been two sessions yet. Okay. Yep. I forget. Look at the proficient we'll level up in two weeks next now. session. Yep. After next session you guys will probably level up. Oh yeah. I'm just well, saying that final kill was awesome. That was great. Good on you all because it larger. I completely forgot about Trump Shear. Good job, Leslie. Like, oh, yep. all, yeah. all I'm saying though is when if we hadn't killed if I hadn't killed it, uh Lehman was